All right, since we're having technical difficulties, let's just start the stream already, right? <laughs> hello, 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 everyone. Uh, let me just literally show you what I'm seeing on my screen, okay? Because, okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my stream. The time is 11 a.m. in sunny California. The name is Max. It's on us. I'm here. My pronouns are they, them. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. See, see, okay, see, see. Just so that we're clear, okay? Like, this is the this is the stream elements window that should show the the emotes, okay? They're showing up on on this window, which is what you should be seeing, but it's not showing up on the actual stream. And you and you can tell that it isn't just like a, a, a visual error because if I cover my screen, uh, you know, it's you, know, you can't actually see anything. See, okay, Charles just put in a bunch of rat champs. And you're going to see them come in in a second. Now, you can see it. It's right behind my head right now. If I cover the screen, you can see that it's not actually overlaid. Also, can I just say, Moon Tomes, thank you so much for just being so helpful right away. I have so much gushing to do about Moon Tomes, but let me just really quickly. Uh, is the URL the exact same? Yes, it is. Let me just really quickly just cover uh, my screen for a second. Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm clicking save a thousand times. I'm copying the URL. Uh, oh, hi, Daz. Welcome to the stream. It is the exact same URL. Uh, I, lo I love the little mice. They're so cute. Okay. I I'm going to go and refresh the ca the cache again. I have refreshed it. My voice sounds worried. <laughs> it's not so much that I'm worried. It's just that, like, like uh, this is a part of the stream that was literally working last time. And it's not working anymore. I'm not so much worried. I'm not even stressed. It's just one of those things where I'm like, I'm like, come on, buddy. You were working last time. What's up? What's up, buddy? Uh, I, I, I hit refresh on it. I, a part of me is afraid that I have to relaunch like the, uh, um, OBS. And that's not going to happen because I'm literally streaming already. So, uh, what else could I even do? See, let me just like, like, Kitty just sent a bunch of balloons, right? They're gonna show up. See, you can tell. Th that little window is what should be showing up. But it's not. So, uh, anyways. Uh, technology. How much you want to bet it's gonna fix itself like halfway through the stream, right? What if I... Okay. I I, I clear it. I don't clear it. I close... I, I, I uh, block it out. Put it back in. Maybe. <laughs> uh... Uh, no worries, Muntums, no worries, you know, you don't, don't stress out, you know, um, you know, I really, really appreciate all the help, but don't, don't feel like you have to, you know, like, fix it, you know, maybe it's probably just a stream elements thing, you, you know, again, I know, I know, can you request a new emote, uh, thankfully, I didn't actually put it in, so, you know, don't worry, you're not really missing on anything, uh, so yes, uh, welcome back to another great episode of, um, um, Estrela Extreme Elements is, uh, oh no, it's a personal fight now. Moon Tomes, you're so sweet. You're so sweet, Moon Tomes. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, hello everyone. Welcome to my stream. The name is Maxi. My pronouns are they, them. And today we're going to be, um, uh, playtesting version 1.1 of my little cozy role-playing game, Iron Valley. Yeah. Te tech is like a cat. It works when it wants. It is so true, Dragoneer. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> yes, we're, gonna, we're going to be... It's hailing? It's hailing right now? Uh, so, hello. I live in California. It's, n it's not sunny today. It's quite rainy. Apparently, it's hailing right now. So, as I did last time we had a terrible rain set season, I want to let you know that if for some reason the stream cuts off... I assure you, I'm okay. A tree probably fell and, you know, a power line went out and then the whole block lost the electricity. If it cuts off, I assure you, I'm perfectly fine and safe. Cats are sometimes working, says Safifi. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Y'all's cats are working? I love that. I love that. So, uh, first and foremost, Evil Max, hello from Hailing, California. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so first and foremost, I want to let you know, in case you know, in case that you did not see my little update over the weekend, 
Here is the streaming schedule for this week. We're going to be playtesting Iron Valley version 1.1 1 .1, uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this week. Um, tomorrow, we're actually going to begin designing my next outfit. There's a Strapple. Let me actually, really quickly, let me go grab the link off of um, Twitter. If you have not actually voted on that Strapple yet, here you go. Vote on that. Um, it gives you, it will give you the ability to go and vote on the theme of my outfit. Um, we have, again, it's not the actual outfit, but it's the theme. And the four options are animal theme, as for example, having a hoodie uh, with accents of a turtle. Uh, I haven't looked at the poll in a little while, actually. And it would be in bad faith to show the results right now. <laughs> so if you haven't, go and vote. Uh, the other themes are fandom themes, such as me, me cosplaying as a character from pop culture or video games, such as Link from The Legend of Zelda. We also have job themes, such as like, you know, like a fantasy job or like a real life job. So I could be dressed as a thief or I could be dressed as a, as a teacher. And of course, we have fashion like street, gothic Lolita, etc, etc. Pick whichever of these themes you think would be best for my second outfit and again we'll be drawing that tomorrow you guys will be helping me design it i'm gonna go step by step you know we might be able to get most of it done tomorrow uh in which case uh we'll have a new outfit for wednesday and that'll be hella fun uh so yeah that's the plan for this week by the way oh i i'm lying i'm lying so um play testing monday wednesday friday um chat designs my outfit tomorrow and on thursday it's my birthday! Thursday's my birthday, and I'm doing, I'm doing a birthday stream. It's, it's going to be a very, very special stream. Uh, it's very special because I have not planned what I'm going to do. <laughs> I think I'll probably do something really fun and chill. Maybe we'll do a little bit of, a, of an AMA. Maybe uh, I might read some of, of one of my um, uh, unpublished books. Uh, and maybe something fun. We'll see. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you know I want to do. Uh, but yeah. Oh, Hiro's here. Hi, Hiro. How are you doing today? Welcome. But yeah, uh, Thursday's my birthday, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a Thursday uh, birthday stream. So, and you're all invited, uh, and you're welcome to join me. Raquel is here. Hi, Raquel. Greetings. <laughs> so that's the plan. Uh, and again, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna get start designing my next outfit. Yo, your birthday was on Saturday. On Saturday, hell yeah. Uh, happy uh, late birthday. Now. As to what we're going to be doing today. Oh, Jada's here. Jada coming in to say hi. Welcome. Hello. Even if you drop in a little bit, no worries. Thank you so much for coming in and saying hi. Really appreciate that. Um, so, 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 so. By the way, in case anybody's wondering, uh, the the emoji on the screen, it's not working for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know, you know, why I have been cursed so. But that's the way that that's the way. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What if I refresh the cache again? All I want is for the emojis on the screen to work. It just brings me so much happiness. Uh, so, uh, Gabby asks, Max, how old are you going to turn when your birthday comes out? Uh, I don't want to tell you how old I'm going to turn out. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. It's a, it's a secret. Uh, but yeah, the plan for today. Uh, the plan for today. Look, at I'm... I'm like trying to like, you know, what if I like refresh the thing again? Will it will the emotes finally show up? Yeah, I I, I am using the, the Kappa Gen thingy, yes. I am in fact using the Kappa Gen thingy. Let me go and, and look at the actual name of it by the way. Uh yeah, I'm using the um Let me go and look it up. Open up you little fool. Yeah, like okay, what if I maybe okay, what if I do a classic Turn it on and turn it back off. Off and on, I mean. So what if I... Okay, I made it so... Don't show emotes. Then I saved it. Then I went to show on. I sound like I'm on my early 20s. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Voice can, in fact, be quite deceiving. Alright, what if I refresh it now? Uh, uh, could y'all do me a favor and just post a bunch of emojis in chat, please? Well, I want to see if we can somehow... Maybe with the power of friendship, we can make it all work to together. Bowser Pride. Let me just do a Frog Champ. Okay, see. So, it is, in fact... It is showing up here. It's, sho it's showing up on the screen that it should show up. See, like... See. Okay, as you can tell, nothing on my screen. But they're showing up here for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. 
Um, what if? Okay, here we go. What if? Hear me out, okay? What if I go to the settings? I have it set so that it doesn't use the whole the full screen. What if I just have it go over here? Use the entire screen. What if it's some sort of like boundaries problem? What if it's like you know what? I don't like the boundaries you give me. You gave me the emote duration. This is all fine. Custom emotes is all fine. Oh, by the way, uh, earlier someone uh, typed uh, dan dan uh, dancer. By the way, uh, uh, and dancer actually worked. Dancer was actually animated. Uh, I, I was I was crying. See, I I don't know why it isn't working. I am legitimately like. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, post that. See, look, look, look. She's dancing. She's dancing. It works. It works. It's just not showing up on your guys' screens. Okay, how about this? Okay. Yeah, see, okay, you know what? How about I'm gonna do this the hardcore way, okay? I'm gonna do this the actual hardcore way. I'm gonna just do a new I'm gonna I'm gonna just do a new um uh source. I'm gonna make a new source. Oh, do let me actually change the boundaries though. And you know what? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. So I'm gonna go to emoji. I'm gonna I'm gonna close I'm gonna hide that emoji that I had. I'm gonna set up a new browser source, and it's gonna be um emoji explosion. Uh, and then I'm gonna hit okay. I believe I can actually just show you this. The screen is fine. I think Okay, now the 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 source is this uh, the resolution should be my my monitor 1920 by 1080 and go And I want it to be Underneath my my heading. Okay, and I'm gonna lock you in size Okay, w what's up now? What's up, buddy? Do you want to work now? Let me actually go let me just switch over to a different screen. And let's try some emotes, okay? <laughs> DB Dragonier says, I'm sorry, this is like my third live stream, so I don't know how to use emojis. <laughs> no, 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 no worries, no worries. <laughs> um, um, so the way that it works is that um some some older emojis will work, and then we have like emotes uh that are that have a specific like nickname. Uh, see, uh, Charles has actually posted a command that should make all of them show up right now, or a bunch of them. Okay, so. They are showing up here again. What? What? What is this? What is this? I am legitimately... By the way, the rain is coming down so hard, by the way. You probably can't hear it because I have a really good noise reduction settings. But I am absolutely shook by the fact that they show up on, the, on, on, on this window. And the input should just literally show the same darn thing. By the way, I did I, I did add a couple of new ones. By the way, if you enter the names exactly as they um as they're written, uh, they will show up on the screen allegedly. See, like there they are. There's Puck crazy. They're, you know, I just don't understand why they aren't working. I'm kind of shook. I'm not gonna lie. Also, holy crap! It's raining. What the hell? Yeah, no, yeah, not like duck is really good. I stole, I stole that from the um, uh, the person who made the frugi emotes. Uh, you can see what emotes they use, and I'm like, oh, I like this. Yeah, the da dancer should work. Am I getting hail? I'm probably getting hail. Look, look, there's dancer. Dancer's just dancering around. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. No, no, no worries, DB. You know, again, I ultimately I want people to have fun, and you know, you don't have to type in emotes. Okay, what's up? What's up, Stream Elements? Stream Elements, what, what's the what's the matter with you? Ma Max, last question. Do you have the emote source underneath other sources? Yes, I do. Uh, I I have it underneath uh, my the the. You know what? I'm gonna just literally just blink it. Here you go. Uh, there's three sources on top. Is literally the the text for the goals, and my heading. I could put it on top. You know what? I'll just put it on top. I'll put it on, on top of everything. Okay. It's on top of everything. I have refreshed it. I've hit save. <laughs> I love Moontoms. I love Moon. Moontoms is the best, honestly. Right? Welcome back to tech support. We should be like playing, um, you know, like a lovely role playing game, but instead, you know. So, I'm putting up a like the emotes should be able to go over this screen, right? And it, it's not doing that. They're showing up on my screen. But they're not showing up on, on, on the actual top of the screen. This is so infuriating. <laughs> Moon Tomes, thank you so much for trying. Honestly, you are the actual MVP. I'm gonna put it back where it was because it should be should it should it, 
it should work. Uh, okay, anyways, anyways. Uh... <laughs> yes, 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 praise Moon Tomes. Moon Tomes work so hard. Thank you, Moon Tomes. And actually, fun fact, I have a brand new command, by the way. Uh, I have a brand new command. Uh, exclamation mark Moon Tomes. Exclamation mark Moon Tomes. Ahoy, Captain! Muntums, they them streams on Twitch. Join their crew of salty sea doggies. There you go. I, I was actually, I was catching up on Muntums, um, I was catching up on Muntums, uh, uh Twitch uh, streams, actually. Uh, yeah. And you know what? I thought Muntums was so much. I should just, I should literally be like, hey, go watch Muntums stream. Muntums is so cute, by the way. Oh my god, I was watching Muntums playing this farming game. You know what? I, I literally, I literally have it open over here. <laughs> I was like, I literally have it open. I'm like halfway through the stream. I'm like, oh my god, Muntums is so cute. Muntums is so fun and chill, honestly. I love Muntums. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Ahoy, Captain. Yeah, we do need one for Charlie too. I should make one for Charlie too. Yeah, you're right. And you know, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to make the mods fight. By the way, uh, you know, it's it's it it's just you know credit where credit is due. Muntums has done a lot for the stream. Uh, and, you know, I want people to check out Muntums. Also because Muntums is adorable. <laughs> oh my god, I hate that. We bond. It, it might just be like a weird YouTube thing. That That's that's actually possible. It is possible that it might not even be a, a stream elements thing. It might just be like a YouTube thing, maybe. Anyways, so what are we doing here today? What are we here for? Just to suffer? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm deleting it. I'm deleting it. Uh, there is so much Metal Gear that lives inside of my head, and I hate it, honestly. Uh, so we're here to play test the version 1.1 of Iron Valley. Uh, this new version has a bunch of new moves. Uh, a kind of a restructured way of looking at progress and setting up quests and of course growing crops and farming uh, So we're going to be uh, creating a brand new character uh, Completely rolling them up uh, entirely randomly uh, And I think we're gonna have a fun fun time also by the way uh, fun fun fact uh, I have a bunch of oracles that were submitted by people like you <laughs> Uh, I have a uh, uh, Will submitted two uh, oracles. Tyler submitted an oracle. I have two from Bianca, one from Charlie, and one from Dragoneer, actually. So, you know, uh, we have some or extra oracles here. And also, I may or may not uh, have made an oracle myself. Uh, so, we'll talk about charm points a little bit later. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be making a brand new character. Uh, and we're going to have fun. <laughs> yes, yes, I believe Will, Will made an, aest an aesthetic. Um, an aesthetic um, uh, oracle that honestly, like, like very much needed. Honestly, <laughs> I realize actually it's only one through fifty. I have to actually make it a D one hundred table, but whatever, it's fine. Some extra orclinary oracles. <laughs> All right, so the, the charm points are basically like character design, like points that make a character more interesting. I'll do a big explanation on those. I guess I can do it right now. Honestly, let me just really quickly cover my screen. Um, while I look up, uh, a character, so I can give you an example of, oh, hey, Alexa, welcome to the stream. So let me show you a picture of this absolute twink. No, I, can I get this picture of this twink a little bit higher res, please? Uh, okay, real talk, though, okay? Uh, I, I'm, I'm talking about a, uh, Final Fantasy character who's a twink. Who do you think I'm talking about? Who do you think is this twink, Okay. Final Fantasy character, Twink, go real quick. Who do you think I'm talking about? <laughs> Marth, no. Marth not a Final Fantasy character. I don't know many. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. It is, It is in fact. It was, in fact, in fact, cla Chips, how dare you call Chip... How dare you ca call Sidane a freaking, uh, Twink? I mean, they, they kind of are kind of twink, actually. Sedane is really good, though. <laughs> it is Cloud. Cloud is a twink. So let's talk about the concept of charm points, okay? So charm points is a list of... Um, I created... We, Kitty and I, together, we come up with 100 charm points. And these are basically character elements that make a character more interesting, right? For instance, one of my charm points are my little hair floofs that are poked out of the side of my head. 
Also, my half-closed eyes are kind of my charm point. I see Tyler is here. Hi, Tyler. Welcome. And, of course, my Tamagotchi is another charm point. So we came up with 100 charm points. <laughs> ah, yes. Thank you, Charles. Thank you. Yo, we have 31 qu quotes. That's crazy. Uh, so we came up with a list of 100. And, to by the way, Kitty and I purposefully made this list of charm points that did not feature notes about hair except for one. So it, it wouldn't have, like, issues with, like, um, animal uh, villagers and stuff like that. These are all things your character wears, my, elements of their appearance that make them more interesting. So let me just walk you through the charm points of this twink over here, uh, uh, Cloud Strife, okay? First and foremost, really easy charm point. He's wielding a huge weapon or tool. That's also in the list. Um, also, by the way, uh, he's, he has... Um, uh, it, uh, he has uh, he's showing skin uh, in the arms. Uh, he's wearing uh, a high-necked um, um, garment, such as the turtleneck. Uh, he has a weird hair antenna. <laughs> he looks sad. Uh, also, by the way, another very, very popular um, uh, charm point, belts or harnesses. Uh, also including a, a utility belt of sort. That's also, by the way, a, um, a charm point. Another big charm point, by the way, bandages bandages anime loves bandages so we'll we will be rolling on the charm points table uh and i, I, I will be po remind me to post these on um on discord um and uh that way you can actually cre create npcs that are a little bit more anime if that's what you want you know one of my favorites by the way tattered cloak come on you know a tattered cloak works so good come on bandages lol it's true though it's true it's true anyway so yeah there you go that's a, a quick explanation of what charm points are just things about your character that makes them, uh, ap appearance elements that makes them a little bit more interesting. <laughs> Masks, yes. Oh, yes, I love that. Uh, so, uh, in case that you have no idea what we are... Oh, Dale's here. Hi, Dale. Welcome. In case that you have no idea, you're stumbling on this video and you're like, what What the hell is, uh, is Iron Valley? Iron Valley is a cozy role-playing game by yours truly. Let me actually really quickly cover the screen so you can actually go and I can show you the page for it. It is a role-playing game in, uh, that that runs using the systems from Iron Sworn and Starforged uh, by Sean Tompkin. Uh, it is available, uh, pay what you want or download for free on Kofi and on my shop, shopping page. Exclamation mark Iron Sworn and exclamation mark Iron Valley will get you links to both of these places. Um, and this is a cozy RPG that you can play entirely by yourself. Uh, it is about living in a small farm and growing crops, having relationships with people. And just having a nice cozy time. Some role-playing games are about combat. They're about fighting. Uh, this this one is about relationships, uh, communication, and taking taking life one day at a time. Uh, the main revisions that are coming in as part of version 1.1 are the revised moves and uh, the, the a revision to the way crops, livestock, and you know quests in general work in the game. We have doubled the number of moves to add basically double the amount of complexity in the game but that's in a good way uh the systems are still relatively easy to play um and i'm gonna be, i'm gonna be play, play testing that today so let me just really quickly close this real quick and in case anybody's wondering iron valley there's the link right there if you want to go check it out all right so we are going to be setting up our campaign where is where is no it's gonna make a townie where did i put it where did i put it where did I put the... Oh, World, world Truths. Let, there we go. <laughs> uh, so, uh, the way that, that campaign uh, creation works in Iron Valley is that you have a system of truths, uh, whether it is the truths of the world or the truths of your character. By the way, um, uh, we, have a, we have a little bit of a fun little extra thing happening today, by the way. So, I am going to be rolling my character entirely at random. Crap. Crap, 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 crap. I just remembered something. Everybody, I, I remembered that I forgot to get my dice. Uh, you may be thinking, Max, what are you talking about, Max? You are, you are, you are, you exist only within the virtual space. Uh, wait a minute, you're not supposed to be able to see this. Uh, don't worry about it, it's okay. <laughs> you saw nothing, okay? So I forgot my dice. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Because oh, I just went over to my Gaze in Space, and I went and I got him. Does this work? There we go. Okay, we're back. We're back. Okay, perfect. 
Let me just really quickly. Oh my god. Everything breaks every time I move something on OBS. Can I see the... Now for some reason... <laughs> D D D DB just goes for, goes exactly for the truth though. Wait, hold up. You don't just happen to have like seven pairs of dice handy? So I I meant uh, virtual dice such as this these dice. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, Charles says, oh, they work for you of traducing them, and and they were always broke them broken. Yeah, it's weird. I I I don't know what their problem is. Like sometimes I have to like you know. Turn them, on, turn them on and off quite a few times to make them, like, wake up, basically. Uh, so, yeah, we have virtual dice on the stream. And if anybody's, anybody's curious, I can give you a link as to how you can do that on your own stream. Uh, though, as Charles has pointed out, sometimes they don't work. Now, I should have made them a button on my touch portal, but... Oh, well. <laughs> I prefer my shiny math rocks to betray me in person. This is absolutely correct, by the way. Oh, Moontum says that they apparently started work. They started. They, were, they started working again recently. Oh, of course. So uh, I have my dice. We're gonna be okay. So what I was saying, uh, I'm going to be randomly creating my character on stream, and also I'm gonna draw a little portrait for them so we can see them on the screen at all time. That's why I have my drawing setup ready to go. So we're gonna get to that uh, in a little bit. Uh, but first and foremost, let's begin through through the world creation. So, um, the one thing, by the way, is that I am going to be playing a different version from last time. Last time that we were playing, we were doing contemporary Iron Valley at, with animal people a la Animal Crossing. Uh, Kitty very rightfully pointed out uh, that I have not played in a version of Iron Valley that's science fiction. So, we're going to be doing that. Uh, so, uh, the first question is, you know... Uh, where, where is Iron Valley? Is it a medieval town? Is it, is it a small town hours away from the city? Uh, and, or is it an arcology, a dome city built on a garden planet? That's what it's going to be this time. And I'll read the description, by the way. People from all over the galaxy come to look at the natural wonder surrounding this domed community, though only the most adventurous stay. The people of this place seek to live in balance with nature, putting the needs of the ecosystem before anything else. Even the most advanced of technologies pale in comparison to the craftiness of the denizens. A starting promise, learn the history of the archaeology. So so these these um these give you the starting promises gives you basically um a, a little quests for you to like get invested on. Let me just go find the promise tracker. Our first promise is, in fact, um, learn about the arcology. Uh, uh, and... <laughs> that, that, that's okay. I, I, a part of me likes the... the I, again, I, I like arcologists. I think they're cool. But again, you know, you're welcome to change it however you want. Uh, Gabby asks, uh, what device am I using for my tablet? Uh, it's just an iPad. Um, though I do have a program that allows me to record, uh, record my iPad on the PC. Oh, interesting. Oh, for some, wait, wait, what's going on here? Why? Oh, because I, I had the gal to add one more line. Oh, that's my mistake. Anyways, don't worry about this. Let me just delete this row. And we already have our first starting our starting promise. Iron Valley is in fact uh, an arcology on a garden planet. Now, what kind of people live in Iron Valley? Uh, Kitty decided that again. Last time we did uh, animal people, we should do fantastical ancestries. That's a nice little like mix. Uh, now you may be thinking, Max, how are you combining? How are you gonna combine combine the idea of science fiction with like fantasy races? And the answer to that is. Um, a good old uh, little bit of j ro Japanese role-playing games. Um, I'm I'm already thinking games like Star Ocean, uh, things the games like Fantasy Star. Uh, you know, I feel where you can have a nice little mix and match and, and clashing of um, science fiction and fantasy. So, uh, when can people live in there? Uh, fantastical ancestries. <laughs> Iron people. Uh, so, uh, and of course the last question is, is there magic? And Kitty wanted me to make magic a, com a commonplace, so magic is commonplace. So the, the way that I'm envisioning is that, uh, it isn't so much that, like, you know, 
magic exists, but I, I envision that people use magic in like a really, really like scientific way. Like it isn't like you do one incantation and, you know, you're able to, you know, uh, call upon the energies of some elder being and cast fire. I, I envision it more as a matter of uh, people being able to control matter using their innate abilities that they have learned to master. So it isn't just, you know, I snap my fingers and I, you know, and I cast fire, but it's like I focus my innate psychic abilities to cause the, the cells uh, in this area to start vibrating and generating heat until they combust. You know, uh, that that's the kind of tech that I'm env envisioning. And uh, definitely, I like um what D what DB said, um, uh, Magitech. I definitely like Magitech. It's also, like, it reminds me of, of older Final Fantasy games, but for sure, yeah. Definitely Magitech. Again, like, um, because I'm picturing in my head, I'm picturing Star Ocean, I'm picturing Fantasy Star. So people are wielding, like, laser, like, laser swords, but not, like, lightsabers. It's, like, a sword with, like, a, but the edge is, like, laser. You know, you have, like, people wearing, like, like ridiculous like fantasy-esque science fiction armor you know fun 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 stuff fun stuff fun stuff uh now immediately once we have these truths actually i forgot yeah we don't have magical truth magical starting quests just yet but that's fine and actually you know what uh can i i shouldn't actually i was gonna be like can i show you a picture of fantasy star probably not you know what actually i changed my mind uh fantasy star online fantasy star online uh gamecube game cover if you literally want to picture what i'm picturing for this campaign by the way oh uh, oh it's such a it's such a dumb dumb cover it is such a dumb 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 cover can you please be a little bit higher quality though i implore you please people are waiting for me to show them this ridiculous cover don't bookmark it who do you, who do you think who do you take me for oh my god look at the oh look at the cover for this ridiculous game there's like robots in the background People are wearing, like, science fiction -y gear, but there's, like, people with elf ears, and there's magic. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, there you go. Fantasy Star Online is literally, like, the aesthetic I'm thinking of. It's, 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 it's gonna look like an MMO, okay? It's gonna look like an MMO. No way Sega made this. Oh, 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 Dale, you have no idea. The camp of it all. It's gonna be campy. Yes. Um, uh, so, uh, we're immediately gonna start rolling dice, okay? Uh, we have to come up with a name first, and thankfully we have oracles for that. So let me just go over to the names names oracle, and just roll, please. What is my name gonna be? Five, really early. Okay, uh, people in the chat, the names na name options are um, Aurelia slash Aurelis, Andes, or Arrow. Uh, please start voting in chat. Also, oh my god, okay, uh, I have a big question to ask, OBS, why do you hate me? OBS, why are you mad at me? OBS, all I want to do is just be able to read the entirety of chat, and OBS is just like, no. Uh, I can't read the entirety of Jada's comment because OBS is being a baby. Um, would top surgery scars and binders go against the rule against mentioning biosex? Uh, absolutely. Okay, okay. So just, so just, that we, so just that we are clear, okay? And this, I, I think this is a fair point to bring up, Jada. So, um, there isn't a rule against mentioning biosex. The reason why I didn't make character creation feature biosex is so that that it would be up to the player's interpretation. That way, you know, you're able to. You know, I want to encourage people, if they want their characters to be trans, they're able to see that. I don't want you to be like, you know, the character you rolled is cis, if you don't want them to be cis. You know, I want you to get, I want you to have the room uh, to let the characters be whoever they want to be. And I feel like it would be, honestly, it would be a little bit messed up if we rolled, like, biosex. Because um, definitely for me, as someone who's non-binary, uh, I would be uncomfortable if a game, you know, forced me into a biosex or, or an expression of gender that I was not... Um, that I did not like or enjoy. Uh, so, you know, I, I, the, the reason why I don't mention in characters creation is to allow for more flexibility in player characters and NPCs. You're, of course, absolutely welcome uh, to mention, of course, top surgery scars and binders, of course, you know. You know, you again, I want you to use your own um, uh, intuition to figure out, you know, you know, okay, well, if, if this tells me that this person's pronouns are she, her, 
but they they present in a masculine way then you know we can read them as you know being trans or being, being gender queer or being something else entirely absolutely no problem thank you for asking <laughs> Oh, uh, why are the ratings down at the bottom right on the GameCube instead on the on, on the left? I don't know. It might also be it may, maybe a, a, a Europe versus uh, America kind of thing. So people are saying Aurelis, Arrow, make a, make a pool, Max. Make a poll. I should make a poll. Let me just cover the screen for a second. I'll make a poll. Why am I not allowed to make a poll? Okay, y'all. I don't know why. I don't know. Today has just been a complete disaster, like technology-wise. Uh, Google, uh, Google, uh, YouTube is not letting me make up a, a a poll, so I, I want people to start yelling. By the way, Sh should okay, I'm gonna post the names again. By the way, what should be my character's name? <laughs> or uh, uh, Aurelius or, or Aurelius? They're both really good. Uh, what? I'm missing so much. Yes, make a pool, Max. <laughs> no, we're not judging you. By the way. Arrow, Arrow though, Andes, all people, wow, it really is split by the way, I like Muntum's earlier was like, OBS hates everyone if it helps, it doesn't, but that's life, Ooh, okay, you know what, I think we're definitely gonna do our, uh, Aurelius, Aurelius, or Aurelia, or Arrow, I, I definitely, I wanna see, I'm gonna write down Aure Aure Aurelia, Aurelis? No. Let me see what the name is again. Aurelis. Aurelis or Arrow. And then we'll, we'll pick whatever the name is based on, on their aesthetic, I think. You know, because Aurelia is definitely implies maybe a, a female present, uh, presenting person. Uh, and, you know, nothing wrong with that inherently. But, you know, I just want to see, you know, I don't want to have a character, you know, I don't want I don't want to have a name that doesn't quite fit their uh, description. Um... So let's see. The next step for making a character is the role. Are we human or are we something else? Uh, <laughs> and I like that, you, you know, you end up having the ability to, uh, you know, be something else entirely. <laughs> Aurelis. Aurelis. Oh, my God. We might we might mix the names. Now, of course, you know, I'm a lot, you know, I can roll on this table. But honestly, since we're going to be since we're going to be playing with um, with fantasy races and uh, and ancestries to begin with I'm just gonna roll from that table already I don't see a reason you know I want to just literally just go with this and let's see what kind of character are we gonna play as so 100 options let's go oh you're gonna be a little bum aren't you there we go that's 88, isn't it? That's 88. All the way to the bottom. 88. Water elemental. Oh, do I finally get to play this this the slime this the slime girl I've always wanted? <laughs> Water elemental. I kind of like that. Like a siren kind of thing. I like that. I like that. I like that. Like a mer person. I like that actually. Slime girl. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna be a slime girl. Slime. Is isn't there isn't slime one of the races? It is okay, okay, okay. We might be like, I'm gonna write water elemental, but 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 we all know the aesthetic is definitely gonna be slime girl, uh, water elemental. <laughs> I love that DB. Uh, the slime girl we always wanted. OBS, why you gotta be like this, man? So in case you 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 don't understand why I'm suffering, is because um, I have the chat. On, in OBS so I can read what you guys are saying but OBS is cutting off like the last like like if your message is over one line long it's cutting off like the last the middle of it so you know as, you know so uh, everything's going great uh, everyone is required to only message me in in the form of like <laughs> short messages mm, so use a water can would be more like a water genasi I think so and again you know I, I might I might change the wording here but yeah the the the, the idea I realize that I could have just rolled here, by the way. But the idea is, um, is that the any any ancestry that has kin, they're a uh, more humanoid or human descendant of that spe specific um, uh, ancestry. 
Oh my god. You're oh you're you're all memeing on me. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, except for Chips, who's just literally just just uh, just spitting the truth, honestly. Slime boy, the time I got reincarnated as slime. It's true, though. Uh, hell yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> uh, well, it's definitely not helping, but honestly, I, I reap what I sowed. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Charlie says, LOL, Chad, y'all are giving me a heart attack. I thought my my, mech, my, my tech was messing up. Alright, let's go over to pronouns. Uh, pronouns and the rest of those. Where's all... Where's, okay. Uh, age, we're gonna be young. We're gonna be young adult. Uh, we're young adult for sure. Um, Young adult slash... And our, our pronouns are gonna be... Come on, come on. Give, give me femme. Oh, oh, you know what? The, the, you know what? You know what? You know what? Non-binary slime, honestly, go to it. Honestly. Non-binary slime, I'm here for them, honestly. Max, you're not supposed to know about my mech. <laughs> Get in the mech, Charlie. Uh, come on, baby farmer. Since my chat messages in a bottle. I love that. Oh, the dice are cute, huh? Yeah, I love them. I love them. All right, so uh, we are they, them. Uh, and gender presentation. Let's go. What is my gender presentation? Uh, I could I could still be femme. I could still be femme. Femme they them. That's 39. 39 is mask. I am going to... I am going to veto that. Our gender presentation is uh, femme. They're femme. We're femme. We're femme. We're, we're, we're going to be the... We're going to be a, a they them causing may, causing may slash hem. Uh, and if you're like, Max, what the hell you just said, uh, let me show you my, my, my great, my favorite shirt of all time, by the way. They are, here, I found it, I found it, I found it. There you go. In case you're wondering, wh what is her character wearing, by the way? Her character's wearing this shirt, by the way. Uh, this is what our, what our, uh, shirt is wearing, or what our, what our character's wearing, by the way. <laughs> They them causing May slash him. Yeah, there you go. This is literally this is this is our character. Our character's wearing this shirt, by the way. I'm gonna leave it open so that I have it for reference later. Now, what's our birthday? What's our birthday? <laughs> uh, Raquel says, "I love that you can just veto a role. Makes it much more enjoyable." L listen, like I'm I'm here. You know, again, we love the randomness. That's why we love games like this. But also, like you know, like if if I'm not comfy. Uh, I'm, I'll be I'll veto it like one of my favorite things like that it's it's um I believe it's in Starforged uh Sean tells you that like if you get a role and you don't like it uh you could pick the option above it or below it or, or just ignore the role altogether and I actually kind of like you know thinking of up and down and by the way welcome back kitty greetings I love you uh now birthday 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 where is random date and now we're gonna roll it Please forgive me. This is literally my my Google Sheets file. Oh my God, what number is that? It's it's so small. It's ninety four. Thank God. I thought it was like fifty four. Now oh, that means that our birthday is in freaking winter. By the way, ninety four means that our birthday is nineteenth of winter. By the way, I don't think we're gonna play that long, but you know what? That's fine. So now it's time for us to learn more about our character and how we ended up actually in Iron in Iron Valley. So first question is. Uh, why did you li leave the big city? And for this, uh, I will roll for these. What is that? Is that a 14? Okay, I'm going to reroll that because I don't know what the hell, where the hell the... Well, I guess it doesn't matter because it's either 14 or 13, right? And that's, that falls within the first one. Uh, so we got a mysterious letter. I like that. <laughs> Charlie says, OMG, I can't believe one of the mods is flirting with the streamer. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe it. It is, is it 13? Okay. Well, thankfully, it all falls within 1 to through 25, so it's fine. So, we got a mysterious letter, and our starting promise is to find out who sent this letter to us. So, let me go over here. Let me write it over here in my starting promises. Also, yes, I realized that I kept the starting promise part of this first one. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, who sent us this letter? So, we were... 
we got a letter telling us to come to Iron Valley. Got a mysterious letter. <laughs> Jesus, I'm the only one allowed to flirt with Max. Uh, so where where are we staying in town? I love this question because it can be so silly. So please don't tell me we're camping. Please just don't tell me we're camping. Is that 69? Your honor. Your honor. Your honor. Oh my god, that is 69! Holy crap! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Oh my god, 69 is, is, is sad though. 69 is, I couldn't live in the city anymore. A starring promise, envision what made your character leave so abruptly. abruptly. Oh, who else writes everything down? I take my journals with me to work. Honestly, like, if I was playing solo, I would be journaling all of this. But because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm playing it live on stream, it's just easier to talk things through. Uh, so, we're going to envision uh, what made our character leave abruptly. Uh, and what, what they can do to ease their pain and then make a promise. Well, you may be wondering, Max, how are we going to figure it out? How are we going to figure out where our character left? Um, left the city because... Uh, if only... Oh, gee... If only uh, someone had created a plot twist table. If only someone had created a table full of plot twists. Oh, gee. If only, uh, namely, Charlie Arlette had come up with the list of 100, 100 plot twists. <laughs> Charlie got this one sorted out for us, y'all. All right, okay, all right. Now, I know this. these are not, like, super dramatic. I think some of them are, like, you know, a little bit just, like, nice and chill. But, uh, you know what? We'll, we'll make them work. We'll, we'll make them work. So, I'm going to roll. 44. 44. Now, that's a match, by the way. That's, that's, that's a match. A new structure in the town has just been completed. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. A, a new structure in town had just been completed interesting okay so something happened in the city something big happened in the city right like some sort of structure got finished um because um I, I, why am i thinking like i'm thinking in terms of like stardew valley like a huge joja mart like factory got built in the city uh because uh a structure got built in the city and we could not fathom staying there Maybe our, maybe our house got taken down. Oh, you know what? I actually like that. You know, it, it, it's got that little bit of um of um uh Hitchhiker's got got uh guide to the galaxy kind of vibe. You know, like you know the big corporation just like knocked down all of all of the buildings that that people lived in. And it, honestly, it also gives us a good vibe for wanting a nice cozy time in the farm. So um, I, I definitely yeah anti anti capitalist slime adventures is definitely the name of this let's play. Um. 40, 42 the meaning of life uh so honestly you know what we left the city because um uh our house oh, well my house my house was demolished demolished i lost so many memories i can't go back there i, li I like that so in that case i legitimately feel like our character what our character needs i speaking of what i need to do i need to like Re-revise this entire like table, but whatever is fine. And speaking of what things our character needs to do, <laughs> thank you, Charles. Honestly, I'm so I'm so grateful for everyone who submitted oracles. Honestly, we're gonna be using them uh, today. By the way, uh, uh, I I can't wait to roll on the aesthetic uh, a table. But uh, nonetheless, um, so I'm thinking. Uh, now I am thinking that our character, uh, you know. What promise are we looking for? I think our character needs some peace of mind. I I think our our slime person needs to find a place where they belong. And I think because um I can imagine them being kind of hard on themselves. Yes, yes, I realize I realize that there's a typo here. It's only a typo in my version. Uh <laughs> Don't make fun of my typos. It's a first draft. Uh or you can. Uh, I, I want 10 boxes. I want 10 boxes. Uh, 10 boxes because uh, it's going to take a while for us to just lear learn to open up again. Um, learn to open up and find a place where we belong. Where I belong. Uh, 10. Now, you may be thinking, Max, um, 
Are these supposed to be gray? No, they're supposed to be black, but turns out uh, that I'm a fool. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant to do. Certainly, I meant to just literally, like, change the color of the lines, clearly. By the way, uh, I haven't turned the timer on. I just did. Don't worry about it. Don't come at me. Everything's okay. <laughs> Charlie says, I have never made a tap in my life. Never, ever. Certainly not a few minutes ago. Absolutely, see? We, we, we get it. We get it. We get it. You know what? Just all of you just... I was going to say something really silly out of context, and I'm not going to say it. Uh, so, we left the city because we couldn't live there anymore. Our house got demolished. Uh, thankfully, we got a letter. We'll figure out who sent it. And where are we staying in town? Let's roll. 94. Once again, big numbers. Oh, crap. <laughs> We're camping. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> I didn't want to be camping. Oh, this is what I get. This is absolutely what I get. <laughs> okay. Oh, crap. Uh, we are camping, everybody. We're camping in the wilderness. I can reroll. No, 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 no. Uh, no, see, see, here's the deal, okay? I don't mind vetoing certain rolls. But I think this one I'm willing to take, honestly. I didn't want to do camping, but honestly, if there's ever a time to do it, it's definitely after our character has, been, has become homeless. <laughs> yeah, little leaves and petals poking out of the slime, honestly. Uh... Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Am, 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 am I dumb? Did I roll twice on this one? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I, I rolled twice on why did you leave the big city. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. In that case, forget about the mysterious letter. We didn't get a mysterious letter. We just left the city because our house got demolished. That makes a lot more sense. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I was like, for a second, I'm like, did I did I roll twice? Yes, I rolled, I rolled twice. Uh, so, uh, we're camping. We're camping. We got to find a good place to stay. Thankfully, this will be a relatively quick uh, one to complete. Uh, find a good place to camp. Ah, uh, yes, thank you for sharing the timer for Pomo Farm. Thank you, Charo. Uh, this is a, a, a one banger. Uh, yeah, it, it does work, yeah. Yeah, uh, so in case you're wondering, uh, Toru H Honda is uh, the main character from Fruits Basket. Uh, and she is camping out in the wilderness when you first meet her. <laughs> that, hi, May. May is absolutely correct. We got a mysterious letter that our house was going to be demolished, and, it, and then it did. Now, what's in our backpack? We are supposed to roll... We're supposed to roll uh, three times on the random table oracle. There's a lot of random item oracles, by the way. So, uh, I'm gonna, you know what, give me one edible item. Clearly, we have some, we have some sort of food with us. Three. Fa oh my god, fancy jam or jelly. Oh my god, that's funny. Are we gonna have a conversation about, like, you know, is, is it strange for a slime to be eating jelly? Uh, fancy jelly. Fancy jelly. Uh, could you do me a favor, buddy? Just like, there we go. Uh, fancy jelly, and give me, give me one sentimental item from our house. I, I could roll to see which oracle table to use. Yeah, yeah. Eighty-five. Eighty-five means a terracotta plot. Oh, I like that. It pot. Oh, I like that actually. Terracotta pot. I like that actually. But see, Chips makes a, makes a good point. Maybe like, honestly, like maybe like, uh, gel fancy jelly is like the best thing that like a slime can eat. Honestly. Uh, and now let's see, which is which should be the last one. You know what? Give me a, a more random, a more random. Give me like a random item that we have in our backpack. Oh my God! Yes, yes. The Dragonier is so right. We we like we came home from shopping and the house was gone. <laughs> That's absolutely what happened. All right, what's the last item? 88 again. Okay, 88. Uh, your favorite hat. Okay, okay. So thankfully, we're going to be deciding on our character's um, favorite hat. Uh, we're going to be deciding on our character's um, aesthetic in a moment. So that's good. Uh, how long are we planning to stay? Uh, I think let's do one year. Uh, one year. Uh, 
And I don't know why I have a, I put another inventory uh, row. I literally added that today before the stream started. So could you please just like get in the center, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a big floppy hat. Well, before we do, before we decide on that, we have to literally come up with our character's aesthetic. I know people are like, Max, it should be a big floppy hat. And I get you. I'm with you. But we do have new oracles, okay? Now, uh, Dragoneer actually made an entire uh, beanie in the shape of a teardrop. Oh, I kind of love that. Uh, beanie, uh, sorry. Uh, DB made a whole table of colors. So I want to see what color is our slime. Or, or, or slime fam. You know, slime, they come in many colors. 99? Wine. Ooh, ooh, we're, we're like a, we're like a nice, like a, like a nice, like a, like a, like blood purpley kind of like slime. I kind of like that, actually. I like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm picturing actually like, <laughs> I'm picturing it kind of like, I don't want to say like blood, but they are the color of jam. It's true. Ghost is, ghost is right. We are the color of jam. Uh, let me just, I literally need like a section for like notes. Uh, uh, notes. Uh, we are, uh, uh, slime color wine. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Random color. That's Bianca's table. Uh, okay, let's see what what is our aesthetic. Okay, what's our aesthetic? What you know? Uh, what, how how do we like dress? I just realized, by the way, I completely forgot that um, that Will's table is not actually like formatted to be like um, one to one hundred, but I think. <laughs> what would that role be? It would be it would be in role number 15. Uh so role number 15 is comfy or cozy. Oh my god. <laughs> well, there the comfy are we we're wearing co uh, comfy or cozy. That's our aesthetic. I like that. How fitting. Could it be any more fitting for the stream by the way? Okay, and now you're thinking, Max how are we going to bring this all together? And it's time to talk about a little something called... Uh, a little something called Charm Points, baby. Charm Points. So, what are the parts of our character design that make that make us the most interesting, right? I have a whole table of 100 things that Kitty and I made together. You know, uh, if, they, if they don't work, we'll re-roll. I might do maybe like two at most. Uh, and then I'm actually going to draw the character right now. So, let's see. What are... There's so many like an like, there's so many actual anime, freaking like things here. I'm hoping we don't get anything too thorny, but let's see. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight means, oh my god, oh my god, our eyes are covered. Okay, I know exactly what this is. It's, I know exactly what this is. Like either we have a hat that covers our eyes, or we have like the anime bangs that like cover our eyes. That's absolutely it. Oh my god, I. I love, I love this, I love this, I love this, I love this. Oh my god. Uh, uh, charm points. Uh, eyes are covered. Th yeah, 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 it's, it's animus line bangs. Yes, yes, it's absolutely, I'm, I'm actually freaking out. <laughs> it's animus line bangs. Oh my god, that cover our eyes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm, th I'm thinking of that, of the, of this, of the, of the ghost, uh, girl from Thousand Year Door. Let me actually cover the screen real quick. Um, ghost girl thousand year door Mario. Are these tables posted anywhere? They are not posted yet. Oh, actually, that's not really what the character I thought looked like. Actually, uh, okay, so Vivian doesn't actually quite look like I thought the my idea would be, but it it would it would be something like this. Let me actually on on it would be kind of something like like this, where like you know the banks are covering the um uh the ice. Uh, but they're not posted yet anywhere. I will be sharing them. Remind me to share them. <laughs> oh yeah, Vivian is, is is trans, isn't she? I love that. I love that. Daughter. Trans icon, hell yeah. Alright, one more. So, what is our other uh character charm point? Just do, just do. We don't have to go super crazy. Because we could get something that's like super dumb, like belts or like tattered cloak. 49, that was a quick roll, actually. 49, okay. So that's glasses. Our eyes are already covered. I'm gonna reroll that. Uh having glasses plus ice cover doesn't really make much sense. Uh, uh, 43. 
Family insignia. I don't like that. Family insignia doesn't make much sense to me. I don't really see it. Give me just one more. One more, and if, if it doesn't come, it doesn't come. That's life. 12. Beauty mark. Oh, we can have a beauty mark. Okay. <laughs> we can do beauty mark. I can do that. I can do that. Okay. I can, I can design that. I can design that. Beauty mark. Okay. Okay. All right. So we are comfy and cozy. Uh, we have our eyes are covered. Can it be heart shaped? Oh, absolutely. I, this character is to be. Oh my God. You're not wrong though. Okay. Charles, thank you for the recommendation. Now, uh, how much time do they have left on the clock? 14 minutes. We can absolutely make this happen. Visor covering the eyes. Beauty mark. You're not wrong. Mm. Oh, you know what? Actually, before before I roll our characters, um, before I draw a character, we should actually roll our stats. Actually, we should roll our stats and the rest of our, our character things. Did I? I for a sec. I I thought that I closed. Um. Okay. I can I can close this. I thought I actually closed the uh, my character creation thing. Uh. World truths. Your truths. B B two <laughs> before nah two B. Wrong numbers, Max. Okay, listen, listen. Too many tabs, yeah. Oh, oh, shut up, kitty. <laughs> I love you, I love you, but you you can't tell me I have too many tabs. Jail, jail. <laughs> you have too many j tabs, jail. Whoa, well, root. No, no, I love you. You're beautiful. I love you, kitty. I love you. I love you. Uh, okay, so uh, I'm I'm going to use the thing that I don't know if if anybody has actually used this, but I actually I came up with with a with an oracle that literally gives you your random stat array, uh, and I want to use it. I'm probably the first person who has done it. <laughs> I don't want to say Kitty has 500 tabs open on on Safari right now, but you know, <laughs> oh DB used it. Hell yeah, I love that. I love that. Cause again, like I don't know, is my character? Oh, you, you used it too? Wow. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Uh, turns out I'm 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 a liar. So, cause I feel like you can definitely um you can infer a lot of um. Uh, oh oh, it's only 498. Okay, well clearly I'm in the wrong. Clearly I don't have the moral high ground anymore. If if you know if you only have 498 open tabs on your phone, emotional support tabs. Are they really kidding? Are they really? Uh, really? uh, I I'm sorry, for a hot second, I thought I was Kendra but posting in chat. I was like, wow, that's a really good impression of Kendra. <laughs> no, no. Kendra, I love you. Kendra, Kendra, I'm sorry. Kendra, Kendra. Kendra, that was a joke in bad taste. I'm really sorry. Uh, okay, so I'm going to roll a, a d10 and then a, d uh, and, and then a d6. So, oh, crap. How do I do this? How, how do I do this? Um. Uh, you know what? Just... Just ign ignore the D10 on the side, okay? So, we got a 2 and then a 3. So, H, heart, and wits. Okay. H, heart, and wits. H, H is 3. Uh, heart and wits. So, uh, we are not sneaky. We are not good at... <laughs> They're not even here, Max. Perfect. It's a victimless crime. We need to st start a campaign to stop Kendra bullying. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a, good. Good luck with that. <laughs> no, no, no. I love Kendra. Kendra's good. Exclamation mark, Kendra. Oh yeah, I should do that. So the these stats tell me that we are very agile and quick. Uh, we are good with empathizing and communication, and we're a little bit of a smarty pants. We are not good physically, which makes sense because we're actually made of slime, and we don't like mischief. Uh, can I help you? Excuse me? What are you doing here? Did you all freaking see that? It just changed to stream elements for no reason. Who who invited you here, punk? By the way, look, 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 it's still working here, but it's not working on the screen. Yeah, look, I was literally just like playing and it just like changed over to the other screen. Who invited her? Oh yeah, by the way, it's working on this screen. I don't know why. Um, and let's roll for our three skills. Uh, what are the three skills that we got? 
Alright, never mind the fact that they're actually named incorrectly, but whatever, it's fine. So, we got... 95? Oh my god. Oh my god. One of our skills is mischief. <laughs> Somehow we're good at mischief, even though that we suck at it. I kind of love that. I can't, I can't, I'm kind of here for that. Uh, wait, wait, I saw a Psyduck on screen. Okay, how do I make a Psyduck? Okay, so, uh, okay, so you want to, you want to type not like duck, uh, with each of the letters, uh, first letter of the word capitalized, capital N, capital L, capital D, not like duck, and that will make it show up here. Um, unfortunately, something is happening, and by the way, May... Uh, Moontoms was helping me with tech support earlier. I have, in fact, uh, hit save multiple times. I hit save multiple times. I'm doing it right now. Um, and also, I, I, I cleared the, um, I cleared the cache. I hit refresh. I literally made an entirely, entire new, um, how about refresh? I, I have. I just did. Sorry, I realize my tone is a little bit confrontational. Uh, it, it is odd. A part of me almost wonder, like, you know, had I tested this earlier, uh, I I might have restarted OBS before I started streaming, but uh, that's life. Uh, by the way, uh, uh, the, the, this, the, uh, the, these are for, uh, for um, Cecile, by the way. Let me see if they all show up. Yeah, yeah. DB says, I'm sure as soon as the stream ends, uh, you'll figure it out. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> I, I was hoping it would show more than one duck, but there you go. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Back, back, back to work. What's my other, what's my other skills? Come on, buddy. We get a single side duck for our troubles, yeah. See? See, now, this is what Charles was talking about, by the way. Where, like, suddenly the, the dice rolling thing is not working for some reason. Let me, I want to do... Refresh the cache. There we go. Uh, is that 86 or 66? I can't, I can't read. It's 86, okay. 86 means that we're, we're good with art. Oh my god, we're a nerd. We're, we're a nerd. Thank you, DB. We're a nerd. Which are, oh, one of our skills has to be plus three. We'll we'll pick one out of we we'll pick whatever is the best one. Okay, maybe it's like a browser thing because now the dice are not working anymore. Let me just refresh it again. That is thirteen. Lucky thirteen. Moon magic. I don't think it's called moon magic. Let me actually go look at the rule book. Actually, imagine being a nerd who does an art. Couldn't be us. Oh, absolutely. Uh, um, where's, oh, skills, uh, skills in debt, in debt. All right, so, uh, moon magic became something else, I think. Or is it still called moon magic? Let me see. It is still, okay. Contrary to popular belief, moon magic has more to do with the dark side of the moon than the one we see most nights. Using moon magic, you would gain the ability to manipulate darkness itself, such as making yourself invisible or obscuring uh, someone's vision. Darkness is a fickle thing, but it means well. There are rumors that adept moon mages can create seemingly bottomless pockets using a handful of darkness. Okay. Moon magic. Perfect. Magnifique. Well, now, one of, one of these we're really, really good at. Oh, hell yeah. DB said my character got sneak, moon magic, and garden magic. I kind of love that. You know what? Uh, since Moon Magic seems actually really fun, I'm gonna make that one the one that that is upgraded. So we have um, that's the one that marks one additional hit on uh on a hit, one tick on hit. So, um, no, no, no. Uh, one one of your skills begins at level two. You uh, you you get to pick. Let me let me double check to make sure that I am in fact correct. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All skills come with the ability plus one to rolls checked. Choose one of these three skills to upgrade by checking the next block, the one that reads plus one, uh, take on hit. Uh, okay, and, and then we envision, and then we actually begin player. <laughs> oh, no, no worries, no worries. Again, I could have probably made it a lot clearer. All right, so. 
I might change the color of our slime. I'm not picturing. Okay, uh, you know, we'll get there once we start drawing. But first, I, I'm actually gonna take a, my first little break. Um, because I actually, I need to go, uh, get some water. I'm gonna be right back, okay? So, um, we're gonna actually, let me actually start my iPad already. Uh, let me just turn the darn screen to the side. Let me go over to draw mode. And, um, we're actually going to be, we're going to be drawing, literally, in a minute or two. <laughs> we're gonna be drawing in a second. So, I'm gonna actually, really quickly, I'm gonna, uh, go get some water and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be right back. Uh, please don't become uh, the generates in chat. Uh, don't start just, you know, uh, spamming emojis, even though, you know what? I believe, you know, I heard a rumor that if you spend em enough emojis, they will actually show up on screen. So uh, make it happen. Anyways, be right back. Hmm, two minutes max. Okay, I'll be right back. It's me, I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I just, I saw emotes going by, and they're not working. See, like, oh, look, look, here we go, there's emotes, right? But they don't show up anywhere else. The stream is haunted. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back. Oh, my God. Uh, Doppy is, like, in honor of me attempting to do my taxes. We actually just did them yesterday. It was a pain in, in the butt, but we, we got it done. So, uh, shout-outs to anyone doing their taxes. So, uh, Kitty wants me to, to tell a story real quick, and I will. So, yesterday, or a couple of days back, Kitty and I... Oh, absolutely no problem at all whatsoever, uh, Rekyo. Thank you so much for dropping by, and I hope you have a lovely night. I know that you you have a lot of stuff going on, so uh, <laughs> I have a lovely night. Everybody, wave trans flags to Raquel as we do whenever anybody leaves. Thank you, for, thank you for joining us, and have a lovely, lovely day. So long, eh, Bowser. All right, now, so let me tell you a little a little story. About a little man that lives in a blue world And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue Like him Inside and outside blew his house With a blue little window and a blue Corvette Sorry So, uh, a couple nights back <laughs> Reader, the blue man was me uh, So, uh, yes, a couple days back, Kitty and I were talking, right? And Kitty was trying to argue with me That, that her body composition she claimed that her body composition was 40% legs and 30% breasts, right? And then I'm like, Kitty, if that is the case, this is what your proportions would be like. You know, you would be 40%. If that was the case, you would be 40% legs, 30% boobs, and then 300% and then back pain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so in case anybody is wondering, I guess what Kitty looks like, here you go. This, this is what the average person looks like. This is what Kitty looks like, I guess. I don't see a problem with this drawing. Oh my god. Anyways. 30% breaths. 
but a 100% reason to remember the name. Ah, oh, no, Muntos, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> I'm dying, I'm dying. Ah, oh, you absolute bum. You absolute, you absolute madman. Okay, so, this is gonna be a quick drawing, by the way. Uh, I say as I try to figure this out, okay? Now, uh, are we have? Oh, oh, we're having a good season, by the way. Uh, 300% back pain took me out. Oh, yeah. Yo. All right. So I'm going to draw a chibi because I love drawing chibis and I'm really, I'm really good at them. Unfortunately, I'm kind of, I'm because I don't have my drawing set up like as I normally do have it. I'm drawing this in kind of like a, a busted way. I'm not going to lie, but it's fine. I just have to draw this little chibi. And I'm picturing what is the general demeanor of our character. First off, you know, there's like goopy bangs. We have goopy bangs. Oh my god, absolutely. I me I immediately just drew like like the little like open smile and I'm like, yes, I love you. No, maybe even even more cute, even more cute. Even more cute, even more cute. Anyways. <laughs> Alright, the piece are done. Let's go. Thank you, kitty. By the way, uh, I restarted last week and look all the achievements I already have, by the way. Easy piece and lemon squeezy. Oh, 319 snails, you don't say. Ah, uh, thank you, the beauty mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, really, I, I gotta really quickly figure out. Okay, you know what? Get this. What's like the what's the best? Oh, dice is the best one, but it's so expensive. I'm not getting I'm not gonna get there. I'm not gonna get there. I'm not gonna get there. Uh, you know what? Give me that. And you know what? Just just get me a bunch of recipes. Screw it. Sorry, I realize that I'm playing a game instead of a game. Don't worry about it, everything's fine. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's, that's not the best use of all the, the the voice I got, but it's it's fine. Now, what's the best one weaker? Ooh, uh, you seem pretty good to me. All right. <laughs> Don't mind me just memeing it out. Okay, there you go. Okay, so now the one one of the design elements that I really like with slime characters is when they have like the like like droopy looking like uh elements you know like like hair per se oh yeah excuse me oh i i I feel it I feel it so um, I, I posted this on 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 Twitter, but I don't know if, if people saw it. Um, yesterday, Kitty and I went down for a nap, right? She, you know, we were like, you know what? We're sleepy. Let's take a nap. And Yanto was chilling in the bed with us. Uh, and you know what? Give me like, like that, like that. Um, and Yanto hates blankets, right? Yanto, he hates blankets. Every time I try putting a blanket on him, he's like, what the, what the hell is this? And he gets up and leaves really angri angrily, right? So I sleep with the, um, uh, when we nap, I use a, a um, weighted blanket because uh, I have anxiety. And a weighted blanket feels so, 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 so good. And, you know, he, he was curled up around my feet and I'm like, all right, Yanto, I'm going to cuddle. I'm going to, I'm going to get ready to, to take a nap. I'm going to put the blanket over my feet. And then he didn't bother me. And then I kept, I kept, I kept moving the blanket closer, and then I just, I actually put it on top of him, and he didn't move. I put the weighted blanket on top of him. You know, of course, his head was exposed. He wasn't like, you know, choking or anything. And then I left it, and I'm like, this boy is gonna get up and be like, I hate this, I hate this whole being covered thing. But he passed the hell out. He passed out. He was curled up. He fell asleep. He was snoring and purring. He was the happiest boy in the whole world. Honestly, like, 
I I I I th I think Yanto has um has anxiety. <laughs> I think Yanto has anxiety like all like the rest of us in this house. Uh, chat, chat. I need to know, okay? Uh, beanie. That looks like a Santa Claus hat. Uh, oh, 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 what should what should be our hat, by the way? Can I please get an, any idea on what our hat should be? I know we're wearing a hat. I don't know what though. By the way, if anybody out there is like, wow, sh should, should I get a weighted blanket? Do. Oh my god, please get a weighted blanket. They're so good. Definitely, I'm picturing like an introverted kind of look. Which kind of gives me the idea that like... Did you like me actually drawing like the... The, the rip cage and everything else just to delete it because that's the way my brain works. I'm like, okay, yeah, the, 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 you know, the proportions make sense, right? Okay, they do. Perfect. The floppy works with the, with the look, yes. Maybe big floppy hat, hat that also drips. Oh, I kind of I like that, actually. I, I actually kind of like that. I kind of like that. Oh, this is, this is now looking like a cowboy hat, though. Yeehaw! Okay. Of course it also drips. Of course it drips. I don't want to say that I picture that every everything our character is wearing is like perpetually like <laughs> like wet, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> Okay, can, can I get any ideas for like what should like the the cozy um, clothing should be? Sorry for blinding you, by the way. Let me actually lower the light a little bit. There you go. Can I get an idea for like what are we what are we wearing? Are we just wearing like a big oversized hoodie? You know what I'm saying? Please just merch. Fussy socks. Uh, oh, a hoodie? Oh my god. Oh my god, Moontums is so right. A, just a, a big hoodie. Hawaiian shirt and socks. That is pretty comfy, isn't it? You know what? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, uh, oh, this is so, this is so cute. This is cute. This is silly, but also cute, though. <laughs> As I can nail, fussy sucks and, and slides. That's funny. Oversized sweater. Okay, I definitely... I'm a big fan of shorts, okay? We definitely have shorts. I don't want to just design trip, but a part of me is like... Maybe just like a big oversized hoodie, actually. Oh my god. And and we're camping like this, huh? In case you're wondering what what kind of shorts are these? These are like the shorts that all the inklings wear. That's what I'm picturing. Oh my god. That <laughs> this is adorable. I I love them. I love them. <laughs> There's just like a, just a, a little a little pool just a little pool around them. What if Kigurumi though? I I will admit that right now as the character stands, they don't really have much of like a like a general a, a aesthetic. Although they do look kind of cozy though. Okay, let me just copy and copy and duplicate this. So, what if what if we were wearing? Hmm. Well, now, now we look more like we're like a beekeeper, though. I I, I like the idea. I'm, I'm just not super sure with the execution. Also, like, I feel like something's miss Like, something is missing in this hat, and I'm not sure what it is. Now, of course, I'm not, I, I'm not intending to go super hard on this one. I mean, this is kind of cute. 
Listen, they don't have a... Kitty says, listen, they don't have a lot of clothes. They live in a tent. This is fair. This is fair. Let me just see if I can, like... No, the roll of sleeves is not... You know what? What am I thinking? I'm, I'm such a... I'm such a fool. I'm such a fool. I am such a fool. What's more cozy and adorable than just, like, oversized sleeves, by the way? Big sleeves. And you can just see, like, the little, the little hands poking out. <laughs> Is leaf covering the hands? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. You know what, actually? Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. How do we feel about the long hair? How do we feel about the long hair, by the way? Chat, chat, I would like to require... I, re I call upon you. Flip-flop, says DB. I can make flip-flops happen. Okay, okay. Alright, you know what? You know what? I'm not gonna beat around the bush because I I have to like redraw the line. So you know what? Let's just do this, do this. How about a little sun smiling in the hat? Like they're since they're always dripping. I kinda I kinda like that. You know what? That that I can sneak in real quick. Is is that is that what you meant? I'm not sure if that actually works out. Let me just see. Maybe I can actually, like... Maybe I can have it be, like, a little, like, button. Little hat bow with a sun pin. Or with a... Or, or a ponytail. Ooh, a ponytail, though? Okay, real, real, this is going to be real quick, okay, real quick, real quick, real quick, okay. Also, you're supposed to be, like, just pitch black, my buddy. What's what's happening here? No, I'm not sure about the ponytail. I'm not going to lie. The, 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 thank you for the idea, though. What about pigtails? Oh, my God. Oh, ga ga oh, Gamba, Gamba Wooby. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I can try pigtails. I can try pigtails. And not just because my wife recommended it. Well, n I will say, though... Okay, so... so um, Pigtails can work. My only issue is that now they kind of do look like a child, though. And it looks like we're also wearing, like, the, um, the elementary school hat. So that's, like, my one issue. <laughs> do a little point low pigtails hold up hold up what about like well you can't really do buns because you would have to like have them like without the hat oh low pigtails like kinako I have to like look up Kineko. God damn it. What does Kineko look like? Okay, uh Kinako Superstar? You know what? Love life. Oh, I definitely typed love life correctly. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, okay, okay. Let, 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 let me give it a try. Okay, let me give it a try. Let me give it a try. Well, it definitely has a different. You know what? Actually, uh, I, I I I like the little pigtails. Actually, you know what? It it also it has more drippy vibe too. So, let me actually really quickly. We flip the canvas, and I can already see all the mistakes I made, and I regret, I regret everything.
I immediately regret everything. So let me just really quickly. Oh, yeah. Here, they don't teach you this in school. I mean, they probably do, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, yeah. A little bit of care of imbalance in the character can really show them personality and, you know. Uh, our little slime person, who is femme, but their pronouns are they them. Uh, I envision them as being really, really laid back. They're really chill. Kitty taste is always right. It's true. By the way, can I mention just how happy Kitty is that so many of you like no love life, by the way? Because we are big love livers in this house, by the way. Now, watch the evolution, okay? There you go. Look at that. Now you may be thinking, Max, how are you going to make this happen, Max? Oh, you don't even know. You don't even know. Oh, ye of little faith. What I love about this is you're actually getting to see what I what my drawing actually looks like, like live. Because this is much of the same process that I do for making my thumbnails. Come on, come on. You know what? You're not going to be perfect. I immediately just have to uh, uh, accept that you're not going to be perfect. And that's okay. And that's okay. <laughs> Live, laugh, love, live. How dare you? <laughs> oh my god. Moontum says we love live in this house and sometimes laugh. Max, whenever you have free time, could you please send me info on what you use to capture iPad? No rush. Uh, yeah, this, this, I can tell you right now. Um, the software that I use is, um, uh, it's one word, A Powered Mirror. Um, a Powered Mirror. Uh, it is, is, it's a paid app. Uh, it has a, I have, it has a, um, an option to just charge you once. Uh, and it allows you to actually, um, because uh, many of, I, I tested out, I literally tested out, like, like 10 different iPad re uh, recording apps, and most of them were, were over Wi-Fi, and that's an incredibly bad idea. There's, there's so much lag, it's just not funny. Uh, but this one, uh, again, A Powered Mirror, one word. Um, uh, it um, you can do it. You can do it wired, uh, even if you have a PC. Uh, which again, um, most PCs hate iPads. So being able to have something that actually records an iPad even when you're on PC, it's incredible. Uh, I, I just plug in the iPad and it just it just literally starts capturing it's great um and you know uh it, it it's a little pricey uh for the one-time payment but I mean like I'm gonna get a little mad out of this uh and I have a faint feeling that you would as well so I strongly recommend it and 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 again like I I tested out so many apps by the way <laughs> kids one day you too will inherit the love life collection says kitty Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I love that, Charles. And, of course, the classic Max idea of, like, at this point, I'm like, I should just, like, draw what what I came up with before. But I, I feel like, you know, sometimes you look at a character after a little bit and you're like, I think I know what your real expression is. Okay, and now for the terrifying thing that is drawing the rest of the hair, which I despise. <laughs> Yo, the idea of Charles doing art streams is just like giving me life because I love Charles' art. Hey, yeah. So who was there for Charles' stream last weekend, huh? Charles was playing was playing Darkest Dungeon, and uh, Charles made a little uh, a. a an avatar for themselves. It was so good. 
I I still have not emotionally recovered from Charles um, Avatar, by the way. I have not recovered. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, Moon Tomes. Moon Tomes is making fun of me. I'm being bullied by Moon Tomes. After everything we've been through. It's okay, you're allowed to bully me. My friends are allowed to bully me. That's why we bully Kendra. Kendra gave us permission. That's what friends are for. Oh my god. So Kendra is part of our family plan for the Nintendo Switch Online. Because, you know, you can have eight people. And, uh, uh Plaguesworth, who's the one running the account, um... You know, uh, Kendrick is, is still under this impression that, like, they owe us money. And then Plex where is like, I don't care. I literally, like, don't worry about paying me, uh, about giving me money. And I think Kendra sent me money thinking that, like, you know, if they sent me money, I would pass it over to Plague. And then I was, we were just laughing about it. Like, I gotta, I gotta give that money back to Kendra. It's like, Kendra, you can't bribe me. Also, you know what? Guys, we're wrong. We are a moon mage. We should have a moon on our hat. We should have a moon. We know moon magic. No, you know what? I don't have to do the texture. <laughs> Thank you. We're almost done with the character drawing. And then we can actually start playing the game proper. Now you may be wondering, Max, did you, do you really have to, this, to draw the whole character before you can play? Well, this is... First off, I'm not saying you have to. I wanted to. Uh, because having a little image, I feel like it helps a lot. Not just you. Forget <laughs> forget you. It's, about, it's for me, actually. Having a little character illustration helps me a lot. Oh, um, okay, so, uh, okay, so Charlie says, uh, there is a, um, it, it's not free, it has a free trial, you're basically able to use it for 10 minutes at a time, and it has, um, a watermark, uh, which is good for testing, definitely, you can actually see if it runs on your computer, and, and you can get it working, uh, but, you know, it, it's not, it's not perfect for actually doing what you want to do. There we go, now just flatten you. Fantastique. Okay, now, now, let's do a little bit of, um... I, of course, give me, recolor the lines right away. And we were saying that we were like a wine color, huh? I'll probably start dark and actually go lighter from there. Can the moon, can, can the moon have a little fail, face and nose? You got it. I can make that happen. I want to make it a little bit more cute and a little bit less goofy. Although this definitely has like... Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. There you go. This definitely has like uh, Moon Mage energy for sure. How's that? Yeah, Mega Man is playing in the background, yeah. Oh, I love that. Jada says, I'm, practice, I'm, I'm, play, I'm using the game to practice my chibi drawings. Oh, I love that. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the charge is a little bit expensive, yeah. Uh, I, I definitely recommend the app, and honestly, you know, set up the goal, and I'll, I'll send you some money for sure, because, like, it's definitely worth it. Let's start dark, let's start dark, I think, and then we'll move on from there. Now, I recognize, actually, since we're just goopy, we can just literally just have all of this be goop. Yeah, feel free to quote me on that, by the way. Honestly, so so I, I was I was modding for Charles, right? 
And honestly, the most foreign of a, the most foreign part of modding for Charles was just adding quotes nonstop. I hope Charles doesn't mind. <laughs> Did you mind that, Charles? Just me adding quotes? Because honestly, it was really fun. There's so many times that, like, you're streaming and... Uh, not not you, but, like, just the royal you, you know? Like, a person is streaming and they're just full of qu fun quotes. Like, I was watching uh, Moontome streaming. Uh, you know, I was watching a, a VOD and I'm like, Oh, man, I could have added that. I, I would have added that quote, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, Moontome is hilarious. Oh, y'all, I have not actually even thought about the color scheme for our clothing. Can I please get any idea for, like, what's a nice, like, cozy color here? Because, like... We probably want a complementary color. Probably a complementary color. Like a blue? Purples? Indigo? Indigo? Maybe? Definitely, the, the shorts are definitely like a dark gray. Maybe, maybe, maybe blue side. Okay. I mean like, you know, I, I can add more more colors to the hoodie in a second, but let me just really quickly just color it in. I get, I get the Game Boy color, ash pink. Interesting. What would that be like? I feel like this color might be a little bit too light, though. Let me just really just add the the shorts already before I forget. Defin definitely, that that that's the right color. Let me just really quickly just uh, color it, color you, color you in, color you in. I forgot to do the little pigtails. Uh oh, blue jean shorts. Actually, this is an interesting point. But in that case, the hoodie has to change color then, because otherwise, it just everything just looks a little bit too matchy. Definitely, it can't be a it can't be a warm tone. Otherwise, everything's gonna bleed. A teal. Oh, the game GameCube color. Thank you, Dale. Oh, the MB Pride flag color. So Fifi makes a really good point here, y'all. Also, I realized that I made a mistake. I put these guys on the wrong layer. Well, Safifi's making a really good point, actually. What if I just made them the the, the NB uh, flag colors? Because in that case, let me just grab you here. In that case, we're looking at a purple of kind of this category. Oh, oh yes, beige does go with everything. All right, y'all, never mind. Uh, we're definitely we're doing this then. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna be like a nice like whitish. Oh yeah, I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, we're, forget about the wine color. We're doing tra we're doing um um and and B colors now. Oh, like sakura petals uh with little gray tint. Oh, I like that. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. It, it it's gonna have to be the MB, the MB flag. Uh, can, I, can I get a big shout out to Sofifi, by the way, for absolutely, ch like, he, he just sa saving this design, by the way. Now you're thinking, Max, this yellow doesn't work. Yeah, I know. I'm going to change it in a second, okay? It's a little bit too bright. So let's heal the brightness a little bit. Make it a little bit warmer. No. That might that might just do. Let me just really quickly come in here, and while I still have that really bright version, let me just come in, add the little band over here, and mm, that probably will be fine. Just fine. <laughs> what is that purple character? Is the character we're going to be playing as? I just assigned them earlier. The purple does look a little bit dark on on the screen. Let me just make them a little bit just lighter. Okay, and now what I'm thinking, it's time now, group all these layers, flatten them, clipping layer, let's grab the color of the lines that we're using as the base color for the shadows, and let's just add some nice little, 
Just some nice little shadows. Just nice little happy shadows, you know what I'm saying? And let me just a little bit. A little bit bigger, please. Thank you. Nope. Smaller for this. Thank you. So I'm getting all focused. Okay, now you're like Max. You look so dirty now. I hate it. Hold up. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I got. I got you. This is not my first rodeo. Okay. Also, I realized that I completely forgot to add like a little bit of white for the for the for the mouth. Although it really should just be like a like a nice like reddish tone to give the idea that it's like a tongue in there, a little tongue in cheek as we like to say. There you go. Now, can I get a little bit of a Oh, there we go. And I, I still I still need some shine, I'm not gonna lie. So let's grab the lightest color in the entire composition. And then just add some nice little highlights. Just just whatever you like. Just what whatever it feels cool to you, honestly. Uh in before all of the artists in chat are just like throwing up in their mouths. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm deleting it. And the last and most important thing, at least for me, honestly. Uh, you gotta color the lines. You gotta color the lines. It's the only way. It's the only way. Honestly, a drawing without the lines colored in, it's just, it doesn't hit the same. You know what I'm saying? Color lines, they just hit different. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and now here's here's what happens now, okay? Because you're seeing the whole process of what it, of what drawing a, a design is like, right? Now you know what we need. You know what we need now. <laughs> uh, oh, oh oh, we'll get you there. We'll get you there. It's break time. Um, uh, it'll be break time when I'm done with this drawing. How about that, huh? I'm so close. I can I can t I can taste it. I can taste it. And there we go. Now, why is there, there's something over here on this side and I don't know. Yeah. There's just like, there's just like a puff over here. Who let you in here? Who told you you were allowed here? I think I caught that, huh? <laughs> that was just, I mean, running errands. Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I've just, I'm just finishing designing the character and we're going to start playing. Uh, I wanted to have a little image for the character, especially because we're going to be playtesting as them the entire weekend, uh, or the week. So I wanted to do that and we're almost done. I'm literally just finishing the model. I'm going to show you, you know, how, how you can level up a, a, a little, a little design. Here's what you do. Okay. First and foremost, black colors are nice, but a little bit of, uh, just a little bit of texture goes a long way. So make a noise layer. Set it to 15% with a 15% scale. Set it to multi. Go over to overlay and just lower it. If, if we zoom in, you can see. Let me just show you real quick. No texture. Texture. Just that's just enough to make it pop just a little bit more. And then we go and we do the anime effect. We we got we Gaussian blur about about 3%. We go to soft light and then we kind of like fidget with it. This adds a nice little like soft effect that you usually see on anime. So once again, you know, nothing, a little bit, just a little bit extra, just a little bit extra. Aurelia. Oh yeah. I was actually thinking of, of, of arrow, like, like, like arrow without the, the W. Although, uh, Aurelia is also cute. I have to figure out my name. Now I'm going to change this over to RPG cause I don't want to show you, uh, my, oh, it's look, look at me freaking looking up, um, uh, Kinako. Yeah. We're, we're basically done. Uh, I'm going to just save this. I'm going to send it over to my. Uh, Dropbox, and I'm gonna add it to uh, Discord. 
not the squirt, uh, OBS. And s slime, slime them. And with that, I have finished the drawing section of the stream. Thank God. Let me cover everything for a second so I can actually... S sorry, Aru. Uh, like Aro, Aru. Okay, you know, now that I'm saying it out loud, it definitely doesn't quite ring the way that I would have wanted to. It's fine. Uh, it's going to be... Oh, Aurelis. Aurelis. Aureli? Aureli? Oh. You know what? There are they, them. I think Aurelia makes the most sense, actually. I've changed my mind. Aurelia works. And now, I just have to find a place for them on the screen. There they are. Well, I do want them to be big, though. Ari? Aureli the jelly? Oh, I, I, do, I do love that, actually. Unfortunately, they're facing away from the screen. What if I... This looks better, huh? I make them face the screen. How, uh, um, how's, how's this chat? How's this chat? <laughs> what do you think? I think they're cute, huh? Let me just move them behind a bunch of things, by the way. Aw, oh, thank you. I do like Aureli, actually. Aureli. Aureli the jelly. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, yes. I actually really like this. Okay, I'm supposed to be on break, so everybody, do me, a, do me a favor. Get up and stretch. Drink some water. Don't be bad like me. Don't listen to my, no, don't, don't listen to my bad influence, okay? Can I, I can probably get, yeah, I can get some more of these. There we go. The game becomes a lot easier once you can actually just water things automatically. <laughs> Kitty says, are you being bad while I'm watching? Oh no, I'm in trouble. I got caught. I'm stretching, I'm getting up, I'm getting up, and I'm drinking water. Oh, sorry, my, my back is just popping left and right. Okay. So, our character is, has been created. Uh, we have done a little doodle for them. And honestly, I get, again, really important things to get done before you start playing. <laughs> I really like having a mental image of the character. And now being able to just look over to my side and seeing them. And it honestly helps a lot. It really helps a lot. Like, I'm... Like, uh, wh when we were playing as Spoon and we finally had the doodle of Spoon, it actually, like, it, it gave me a better mental image of Spoon. I, I can just look at my little screen and be like, oh yeah, this is definitely what, um, what, what, what Aureli would do. Uh, and all that's left for us is just to visualize our arrival. Uh, our arrival, and we will be doing that once the break is completed. How's everybody doing today, by the way? Everybody having a good time? Uh, again, I'm still, uh, endlessly sorry that the emojis are not working. I just, I don't know what, what's happened. <laughs> uh, good, um, uh, thank you, Saturn. Could you explain to me what, 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 what POS means? Um, uh, cause, uh, as far as I know, POS means one specific thing and I will, I want, I, I don't think you mean it that way. <laughs> Uh, is it the sadness of uh of uh the, the near music? Uh, cause I love the remixes by Lofi by Lofi Leah. Ah, positive. Okay, okay, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Thank, thank you. See, I knew, you know, Saturn, you know, you know, uh, no, no, notorious lurker. Uh, it, positive. <laughs> yes, I love that. I love that. Um. And I, I knew I'm like Saturn would ne would never say the pos that I'm thinking of. <laughs> awesome, thank you for telling me. Yeah, I, honestly, like I, again, uh, making characters is, is part of the fun. Oh hell yeah, chips! That sounds fun. Congrats on finishing your color studies. And again, I, I'm over here. 
trying to make the emojis work again. Okay, you know what? I have an idea. Before the before we get back to work, I have an idea, okay? What if I go over to stream elements overlays and I make a copy of the one I make a copy of the of the one I have. I'm going to duplicate the emoji explosion and I'll make a new one. And this one's going to be it's going to be called copy of emoji explosion. I'm going to go edit it. And it should have all the emojis in there. It's an, it's an exact copy of the one I had before with all the custom emoji, okay? I'm going to save it. I'm going to copy the link. And I'm going to update the emojis on all of these other ones. What do you mean you still have the same URL code? You're a copy. <laughs> oh, oh, no worries, Charles. I'm sorry that, ch that Charles chat froze for you. Let me see real quick. Uh, frog champ. Does this work now? Is there any chance that I might have fixed it somehow? With the power of friendship? No. Because now it doesn't even work at all. Alright. I'm going to close this tab. And like not worry about this for the rest of the stream. Alright. Open back up. So. Uh, the final step of setting up is to envision how you arrive to Iron Valley. So, um, this version of Iron Valley, it's a um, uh, a clash of fantasy and science fiction. Uh, we are finding ourselves arriving at a at a at an arcology on a garden planet. Um, so, our story, we infer from our story that uh, from our starting uh, event that. The place where we were living at was demolished, and something bad happened, and we decided to leave the big city. I'm going to assume that we, li you know, that we live in a relatively large planet. That's why there's so many be beautiful, incredible ancestries here. And uh, we we fled the, the, the city, and we probably wandered a lot. Uh, and, I, and I envisioned that our wandering led us to arriving at um, Iron Valley, I assume. Um, and once again, the world is... I envision the world to be vibrant, um, and the the arcology extends for quite a long distance. So we're probably like I envision we probably like might we might have even walked into the arcology without realizing it. Um, again, I'm I'm picturing an enormous dome, like a huge, huge dome commun uh, dome city, uh, or I guess dome just a huge dome, I guess, <laughs> like that contain like that contains this enormous like. Like not patch, but like this sway of land, right? There's mountains inside of this um, uh, dome. There is forests. There is sea, um, and may I wonder if part of the reason why Aureli decided to leave the city, not only because of their house being demolished, but also because um, of wanting to get away from you know the way the city is. You know, I I, I imagine that if you're kind of a, of a goopy person, if you're made of gel of of, of slime. Uh, Maybe the gunk of the city can like really get attached to you if you know what I'm saying. You know, like navigating the the gunky streets is extra heroin when you're actually made of slime and things can just like get stuck in there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I I I I, am, I almost feel like Aureli disliked the city and now they're free to actually you know uh you know not not, not to say that the wilder that the wilderness is any any less dirty than the city, but it's a different kind of dirt. You know, dirt, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, at least within within uh, nature, there's a sense of hello music. Thank you. For a hot second, I was like, "What happened to the music?" Oh, also, by the way, real talk, chat is, is chat frozen or am I or am I crazy? <laughs> chat, how are you doing, chat? Can you can you hear me, or have I been talking to myself for the last like two minutes? Oh, you, okay, okay, okay. You just quiet. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, for a hot second, I was, I was a little, cause Charles earlier was like the chat froze, and I'm like, oh no. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Everyone's just chilling for story time. That's completely fair. Nothing wrong with that. So, you, I envision that most arrivals to Iron Valley, I envision them being like classical animals crossing, right? You know, you're like you're in a taxi, you're in a bus, you're in a train, and you end up finding yourself in the city proper. 
Uh, so you're welcome by the city, by, by Iron Valley. You're welcome with open arms. But in this case, I feel like um, Aureli's uh, arrival is um, without fanfare. Now, I'm, I'm envisioning that Aureli has like a little backpack. Not with a lot of anything, you know. Uh, we have some stuff from our house, but our resources have been um, uh, wearing away, um, rapidly declining since we've been camping around. Definitely we have a small backpack, but we probably have some camping supplies as well. Definitely a sleeping bag. I don't know about um, like an actual like tent, uh, but we definitely have, you know, a sleeping bag with us, you know. I'm picturing like, like it's all rolled up, you know, uh, on hanging from under the backpack you know and we have our large hat which keeps most of you know keeps the sun away from our face uh i envision that you know slimes being mostly water they probably don't want to be exposed directly to the sun so we've probably been staying away from main roads we've probably been walking through the forest you know um you know i i envision that a slime person probably enjoys the addition the, the the a nice feeling of moisture you know near um where moss would grow moss and mushrooms would grow so we've been taking it really easy. I, I definitely feel like um, the way that Aureli has been nav navigating uh, <laughs> says, one of those mini tents that only fit one person if they curl up. For sure. I, I see I see that for sure. So my thing is that we I feel like you could describe Aureli's. Um, oh, we camped near a waterfall. Oh, I like that, actually. Because I envision Aureli's um, uh, pa uh, traveling pace to it's not really leisurely as much as it is, as it is aimless um Aureli has nowhere to go you know and it, it's a large planet there's a lot of people and i i legitimately feel like Aureli just feels like aimless you know and and, and i almost feel like the entire time Aureli has been fleeing what they almost running away from their problems i feel like they can't stop thinking about what happened you know and let me do a theme and action roll. Uh, I I, I want to see what their internal struggle is at this moment. I, I want to see like what 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 are what are their thoughts right now? Let me just roll for action. Thirty one, thirty one is enhance, enhance and. 90 enhance enhance tower now here's the way that i that i like to think about okay now at, at a tower we, we we can we can envision our camping setup to be a tower of sorts it is a place of solitude far away from civilization i feel like at this point um Maybe maybe our realist is a little bit like me. I, I tend to hyperfixate, and I, and I and I'm constantly switching between two things I'm hyper hyperfixating on. And the thing that our realist is hyperfixating between, oh my god, it just sucked so much what happened in the city. Like I can't believe they would demolish the entire apartment building, you know. And like I understand, I'm not the only person who like lost all of their stuff, but like it's still all my stuff was there, you know. And like you know, I lost my job because you know. When you have nowhere to live, how am I supposed to, you know, be able to, you know, hold up a job? And next thing you know, I'm out here, you know, I'm just running away, you know. And I imagine that Aureli is just like, like, you know, feeling sorry, feeling bad about what happened, and at the same time, I gotta find a better place to stay. I gotta find somewhere like close to water, you know, you know, I like, and and you may you may be wondering, well. You know, what kind of person just goes out and leaves out into the wilderness? And I think the reason why maybe it's more accepted in this culture is because, you know, the planet that we're on is a garden planet. It is a beautiful, lush, welcoming place. You know, um, much like in, in, in Iron Valley, in the rest of this planet, you know, crops grow incredibly fast. You know, trees can sprout within the course of, of weeks, you know. Yeah, yeah. A Dra Dragoneer mentions, you know, it's possible that our job also got destroyed. It's entirely possible that it might have been like a corporate takeover of blocks upon blocks of of, of the city, you know. And next thing you know, you know, uh, uh, a you know, two hundred mega WalMarts pop up, you know, and then they're like, well, sorry, but you know, uh, actually, you know, uh, we got the permit to demolish your house. Uh, you know, I you you were given proper warning if you had checked on this on this website. Uh, you know. Uh, this is really this is really becoming um, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but you, but you get it, you get it. Yeah, it's a giant Amazon warehouse, you know. 
uh you know it's 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 freaking like it's it's super dystopian joja corp um and i i feel like aurelis is just constantly going back and forth between like you know like feeling nostalgic and missing for all the stuff that they got lost not only like the physical stuff but also the the intangible stuff like their their work routine the things they used to look forward to you know what actually what did we used to do what was our job let me just roll job real quick because i'm like what, what did we actually do let's see what did we do uh in the city and the role is what is that role i can't i can't see okay that's a 30 it's 32 a fisher i don't oh it's 52 okay th thank you db librarian oh my god we were a nerd oh my god is cecile in the chat <laughs> We were a librarian. Oh my god. Oh my god. We were a librarian. Oh no. We worked for the government and the government was like, we have decided to demolish all these buildings. And then we're like, but what about the library? And then like everyone in the room is like, what about the library? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, just the government's just messed. The government in the city is all messed up. They put an Amazon warehouse where the where the, the city's mega library used to be at. Oh, it's too real, isn't it? So I'm I definitely imagine, you know, uh lost all their books. It's it's true, it's true. Well, of course a librarian has tons of books, you know. Well, we would know. I would know. <laughs> and I think it's really sad that we actually have no books with us, you know? Like all of our stuff got got lost, you know? And I definitely think the idea of like um in a science fiction culture, you know, how treasure physical books might be. You know what I'm saying? Because sure, you can probably download all the entirety. They were the, they were the moon tomes. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> moon tomes. Oh, my God. It's true. Oh, uh, the moon tomes were lost. Oh, my God. I love that. I love that. Uh, and... And legend became myth, and things that should not have been forgotten were lost. <laughs> so, you know, Aureli is constantly just going back and forth between, like, you know, I miss my house, I miss my books, I miss having the job that I really, really liked. And, oh, well, I'm out here in the wilderness, and I need some water. I need to actually legitimately drink some water. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I, I, I'm envisioning, you know, because, because, we, we need, we're envisioning our arrival to Iron Valley. And I feel like it's in the process of, like, navigating the wilderness uh, that I envision that our first sight, our first glance at Iron Valley, because we're not, we're, not, we're not walking through the mountain path, so we, we don't get to see it high up. So I think that we get to see, like, we're, like, probably, like, at the, at the very bottom of the valley. So he, here's the, the moment that I'm picturing in my head is that, as Aureli is, you know, they have, like, the, their backpack with their bedroll. And maybe that, that small little tent kitty was describing. You know, and they're, like, they notice that the ground is slowly climbing up. You know, and they're, you know, uh, they're having to, like, raise their, like, you know, their uh, their feet higher and higher to be able to, like, keep climbing up. And, you know, maybe Sandals were, was not the correct, you know, outfit for the day. But, you know, that's okay. That's life. Um, and as uh, Aureli keeps, like, climbing up, you know, like climbing up this incline and this incline and they're finally you know once they get to the clearing once the, the the trees clear away you know they're standing uh just at the edge of this forest overlooking a a wide wide field of grass and you can see the blue sky above nary a cloud in sight and the blades of of glass of grass vibrant green beautiful uh, as the tiny little green swords uh, swaying to the wind side to side and there in the distance um, uh, not so f uh, not not impossibly far away uh, the large fields of grass give way to fields of crops and there in the distance you know as far as the eye can see uh, there is houses little buildings and I, I believe that this is the point where Aureli realizes, wait, hold on. 
Is this... Is this the place they call Iron Valley? Am I already there? Now, I don't think Aureli was mean to get to Iron Valley. I don't think so. I feel like they, they ended up getting here by mistake. And and Aureli, um, the way that, that they test whether they're actually in Iron Valley, uh, they look up. And when they look up, they, they notice a specific um, hexagonal pattern in the ceiling of the world, indicating the, um, the, the dome that protects um, Iron Valley. Um, and they realize that they're actually... They, they, managed to walk into Iron Valley without realizing it. Um, and I feel like this is the moment where we finally, we find ourselves, we're here. It is the first of spring. And it is time to consider, what are we going to do? We have some starting quests, of course. We, we want, you know, we can learn about the archaeology. We need to find a good place to camp, though. Uh, so, uh, DB asks, so it's more of a force field. I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think necessarily it is a force field. Um, I envision that I, I envision it as a, as a physical dome. Uh, but as I was describing it, I, I, I thought that it, I don't think it would just be like, like a large, you know, um, rimless. I don't know. A, a like a, a one unit of, uh, of glass, right? I don't think it would be just one unit of glass. So I imagine that it would actually be like a hexagonal pattern of, of, of panels that can be replaced in case that there's damage. You know what I'm saying? That's what I was picturing in my head. But I, a force field is also completely fine as well. Also, Muntum says that I need to check the, the art channel. What's happening here? I, I, I have arrived at the art chat. No! No! Sudernia, no! I love them! I love them! Ah! Sidernia! I love them! They're so cute, baby! Oh no! <laughs> thank you! Oh my god, thank you, Sidernia! I, I love them! I love them, they're so cute! Oh my god! They're so cute! Oh my god, I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying. You guys are incredible! We're, we've been talking for like two seconds and we're already like we already have fan art I, lo I love it thank you <laughs> thank you so much Sidernia. everyone is too kind yeah because you, you made incredible art oh my god it's so cute i'm gonna have to have it open over here whenever i'm just talking uh uh ghost says imagine a physical uh glass dome kind of like terrarium that's also completely fair you know like me like the terrarium could also just be like those like uh geometric terrariums that's fine too <laughs> so Fifi says, um, Putz, I need to go to sleep. It was lovely. Oh, no worries. Thank you for coming today, Sofifi. I hope you have a lovely, lovely night. Everybody, please wave the trans flag to Sofifi as I shoot them off the cannon. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you have a lovely, lovely night. Bye bye, Sofifi. So long, eh, Bowser. Oh my god. <laughs> I need a sip of water. I'm dying. Oh my god, I'm so lucky. You guys are the best. Okay, where was I? Uh, so I definitely think that we should uh, immediately find a place to set up camp. Uh, it should only be... <laughs> so, so long, gay, gay putts. <laughs> Love you, Safifi. Have a good day. Uh, so I think... I think that we immediately need to find a place to set up camp. We can probably, you know, still spend one more night just living in the wilderness, but we need some, somewhere good to stay. I don't think we're moving into anybody's house at the moment. We just need to find a good place to camp. Now, earlier, I'm pretty sure... Was it Dragonier? I think it was Dragonier who said we should... Yeah, yeah. Dra Dragonier said camp near a waterfall. And that actually sounds incredible. I was actually thinking about the idea that, like, you know... Uh, there's like the little pool of clear water and like Aurelis just has like their little like feet just like stuck into the, like dipping into the water just to like soak in. Because uh, I almost imagine that like a slime person like like um um or water elemental really uh, like Aurelis probably just doesn't actually need to drink water. They can just absorb it through their skin. Oh, yo, 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 uh, Char Charles has to go to work. Uh, everybody, please uh, trans flag and hearts for uh, for uh, Charlie, please. Thank you for coming, Charlie. I hope you have a lovely day at work. Take care. You're, you're awesome. You're the best. And go go get it. Go get them, okay? Go get them. <laughs> Bye-bye. So long, eh, Bowser. So, Caleb asks a question. How do they wander in? 
So here's the way that I picture it in my head. So imagine this, okay? So it's a... Uh... <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, oh, wait, we also need... We need mice because Charles is leaving too. We need mice. There you go. I, I sent you all the mice that, that I could find. So, uh, so, so, so here's the way that I picture it. I didn't, I didn't describe it because I, uh, uh, much like when I write, I had ideas in my brain, but you know, because I'm having to juggle streaming. So the, the arcology is freaking huge, right? It's huge. And the way that I imagined that someone would be able to just like get in without realizing it. <laughs> no worries. It's just, it's the balancing act, right? Um, so the way that I pictured it is that since this arcology is so huge, I almost envision that the foundations for it, the, the outer wall is probably built on, on really, really tall pillars. Um, and my impression was that, you know, as because, because, because these pillars are built as part of the wilderness, you know, if, if I, you know, if I were writing a book, I would, I would, I would describe this a lot more gracefully. Uh, or if I were, you know, doing an image, I, it would be way easier to, ca to carry across. But I imagine that as someone is walking in the wilderness, surrounded by trees, um, it might be really, really hard to tell the trees and these pillars apart. So imagine, you know, um, you know, it's um, it's dusk. Imagine, and you're walking down the forest, and then there's the beams of orange light coming in, uh, in between the spaces between the branches, and it's relatively dark in the forest floor. But you can see, you know, you can see the um, you know, the trunks of trees around you and i envision that it might be hard you know at that point um to tell the trunks of trees you know these large trees and then also the trunk the um, the pillars that hold them their ecology especially because they're out in the wilderness they're not just um you know they're not just um uh you know uh cement or concrete pillars you know they have been reclaimed by nature so they're probably also covered with vines and and moss and and some other kind of things and, you know, DB says pillars designed to look like trees. That's also a possibility, you know? It could be a combination of, like, you know, nature and technology, you know? You know, m maybe in that way, their ecology functions a lot more like a hive, you could think, you know? M m maybe the, um, you know, the, um, the, pr the protective glass-like structure above the ceiling, near the ceiling of the world, you know, functions more like the, wa you know, the, the wax walls of a hive. <laughs> oh, I like that. We have a large TV antenna. They tried to make it look like a giant pine tree. Oh, I like that. That's funny. See, I, I like taking inspiration from the real world in that regard, yeah. Again, you know, it, it might have been part of the design to just, you know, make these huge pillars that are holding up the ecology, um, you know, uh, blend in with their, their environment. Uh, I would imagine that the people who made this were probably attempting to uh, maintain the natural aesthetic or the natural order of the forest i imagine you know uh as it's mentioned in the description you know people who live here really really do cherish um they really really do cherish nature and and want to protect it so i can envision that definitely you know not only the passing of time but maybe the designers also wanted the pillars to blend in completely you know <laughs> I, I love that dv that's so cool though so uh i definitely think uh, again, I, a clean source of water is definitely something that we should be looking for. So I think that we should uh, get to work on that. We already have a promise. Uh, we, we have a promise to ourselves. Uh, it is a one unit promise. Find a good place to camp. So let's go find ourselves a good place to camp. So I'm thinking, you know, our options are we use our wits to kind of get a lay of the land. Ah, so it's more like so like a pavilion or canopy than a dome, like Sandy's house in SpongeBob. Possibly, you know. I, I again, you know, um, this is my first time, you know, actually playtesting the science fiction version of this, and I, I'm I'm taking the assumptions that I had before and seeing if they stick. You know, I definitely, you know, uh, I encourage everyone to envision their own version for sure. What whatever makes the the fiction more interesting to you, but definitely, you know, I will try to be more clear. <laughs> Dale, <laughs> what flavor are they? If there's no new, that's funny. <laughs> but so, I wonder if her future house should be uh, partially in water then, or have a ladder down a lake into something. I I, de I definitely think that um that uh that they would like some uh some sort of water source for sure. Um, so 
edge would allow us to just make up make up you know uh get around really really fast you know just literally speed up our pace and just see if we can find the source of water i actually ooh, that, that sounds actually really fun uh dale <laughs> honestly we just need what i just want to find a source of water and although you know we could use wits to figure out you know source of sources of water are usually you know in the lowest points around the land because you know rivers and these sources of water carve their way in between mounts of of of, of earth and soil yeah, we could do that. We're not. We're just literally going to just walk faster. Uh, I think that, you know, we're near civilization. We're near the Iron Valley that people know about. And there's water sources near here. So I think we definitely, we're going to roll plus edge. So remember, the way that the game works is that uh, you roll a d6, a, a six-sided die, and add your one of the stats. If you have a skill that is beneficial, you can add plus one as well. This becomes your action score. You compare this against two 10-sided dice, and if your uh, action score exceeds um, one or more, uh, it's considered a weak hit or a strong hit. Basically, you get what you want, uh, and you know either time passes or it doesn't. Or if you if you do not exceed either die, that's called a miss, and you basically fail. So I'm I I envision. Uh, actually, you know what? The move correctly is try your best. When you attempt something difficult or work towards fulfilling a crop promise, envision your action and roll. If you act with speed, agility, or using a light tool, roll edge. That's what we're going to be doing. We're acting with speed. We're, we're navigating uh, the, the rising and falling slopes of this exterior part of Iron Valley to find a place that has fresh water that we can actually camp around. So, I'm going to roll. Uh, we have three uh, edge. We have no skill that is relevant, so let's just go. 5 plus 3 is, in fact, 8. We do not beat the 10. That's Sierra, by the way. Oh, my God. Seriously? <laughs> oh, my God. A, a 10 and a 9 right away. Oh, Sean would be so so proud. Uh, DB asks, so do most people jot down quick bits when they play or go full writer mode? Haven't seen or read any real plays. So... I feel like it depends on the kind of person, you know, like when I'm playing on a stream, I just, you know, I just narrate what's happening um, just to kind of keep it moving more kind of like a TV show kind of thing. Um, if I'm playing by myself, I, I either just write down little notes or I or I legitimately just go into full writer mode. It, it really depends on the vibe that I'm going for. Also, Cecile's hitting out because it's time for bed. No worries. Thank you for coming today, Cecile. Maybe next time uh the the psyducks will actually work on stream uh can i get some flags for cecile thank you for joining us today i hope you have a lovely lovely night go rest up cecile bye bye so long, eh, Bowser. by the way the timer went off so it's time for me to get up and actually stretch and also time for me to sell all these crops by the way oh making big money okay my question is that's four weeks i don't want to i Okay, I can I can probably make that happen. You know what? Let's go. There we go. Just just buying a bunch of crops for no reason. There we go. Okay. Getting up and stretching. And you should the same and you should do the same thing too, by the way. Ugh. Ugh, stretching too much. There we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, DB says, um, I, I, I'm bouncing between full writer mode and trying to do stream of thought writing. Um, it's fun, but I haven't gotten very far. Oops. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Jada's hitting out. Uh, Jada says, I'm, I'll, I'll have to head out too. I've got a college assignment to do before midnight. Uh, stretch though. Yo, 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 you stretched. That's awesome. And hey, you know what? Props for, you know, prioritizing the things you need to do. You know, schoolwork is very important. So, you know, go get that done. Thank you for joining us today, Jada. And I hope you have a lovely, lovely night. Go do it. You got this. Bye bye. <laughs> I can't want this. I usually write what I can down. I'm a writer, so I don't mind. Uh, but I like uh, solo roleplay since it feels like it's a writing exercise mixed with a TTRPG, and I dig that personally. Yeah, see, like, there's many, many levels to solo RPG, right? And I feel like, like, a, a part of me wonders, 
<laughs> oh, okay, so so um, the one thing I want to clarify right now, because DB just says, um, I was feeling like I was doing it wrong. There is no way to do it wrong. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, you're playing a role-playing game by yourself. And if you're having fun, you're doing it right. Yeah, yeah. So, so he, he, here's what I what I was doing for my other campaign and what I like to do normally is that at the end of the at, at the end of the session I just write down what happened. Um I, I I will say that I'm not a big fan of like writing down like roles specifically. Um mostly cuz like I feel I find that a little bit time consuming. You know, I just I just play the campaign the session as it comes to me and at the end of the of the session I actually I do like a like a bullet style like this happened and this happened and this happened, you know? You know, so for instance, you know, for you know, for the first point of the campaign, it will be like, or for the summary of today's episode, it will be like, you know, you know, um, Aurelia found found themselves wandering into the actual arcology, and upon seeing civilization, they realized that they were in fact in Iron Valley. You know, next bullet point, you know, they spent they spent the morning trying to find uh, a source of water and were unable to find it, etc. etc. Et you know, I, 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 again, you know, you can find you can find. Your, your own good middle ground. <laughs> DV says, yeah, I've been playing a few days and I haven't made my first try your best roll. That's okay, honestly, you know. The thing is, is that there isn't, you know, you know, you're playing the game correctly as long as you're having fun. That's all there is to it. Alright, so, we gotta... On, a miss and on a, on a miss it says you fail invention envision what went wrong or how you lost track of time then time passes now i'm not sure how we lost track of time so i'm gonna just do a theme and action roll i'm gonna let the dice give me some ideas as to how we ended up you know losing track of time so 58 for the action the action is loot something loot related maybe we found something maybe we found something along the way Loot 22. Loot. Loot crops. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I know what happened. I know what happened. You know what? We have the, we have the, the, the mischief skill. Uh, I, I actually think we might have actually wanted, we got hungry and we, we found someone's crops and we're like, you know what? We're going to have just a little nibble of this, you know? That is absolutely what happened. We absolutely got caught. It is the only way I can read it. It was, it was a 10 and a 9. We absolutely got in trouble. So, really quickly, you know what? What What is the crop? You know, of course, I need to know what crop we were eating, right? So, let me do a, a D100. It's funny because if we roll a flower, I'm, I'm going to be like, oh, we just wanted a flower because we're cute. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It's a it's a daffodil. We 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 got caught stealing someone's daffodil. Okay, actually, I like kitty though. We were we were in fact eating the flower. I like that. I, I I'm actually here for that, which is funny by the way because um, uh, in Stardew Valley, in Stardew Valley, um, uh, oh my God, Abigail, uh, the girl with purple hair, uh, she actually, if you give her a daffodil as a present, she'll tell you, oh, thank you, it's very tasty, and then munch munch. Indicating that she actually eats the daffodil. <laughs> this is actually... This is lore. This is lore. You can eat a daffodil. Oh my god. She can also eat... You know what? Honestly, though? You know what? Iconic. Don't trust Abigail. I feel so bad because I've only, I've only romanced one, once in uh, in Stardew Valley. And I feel like I... Like I, I don't know anything about anyone else anyone in the game. Oh Igor is here. Hi Igor. I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Greetings. Alright, so uh clearly no I am you know I'm you know we're envisioning what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened, okay? So clearly, um I, I need you to, I need you to imagine, okay? We came over um we walked over this hill and we saw like a field of crops and some houses in this in the distance and then we knew we're in Iron Valley, right? Now I want you to imagine that we basically walked perpendicular to the to the the rows upon rows of of of, uh, of fields of crops, and after a long while of not making any process not progress, not really finding a source of water, I envisioned that our character Aurelis ended up just being like, "Man, I'm hungry," and then you know 
uh, they see like a large patch of like daffodils planted. These are not wild daffodils. These are le legitimately, you know, someone is growing daffodils for flowers. And, you know, uh, Aurelis, uh, being quite hungry, decides to, you know, grab a handful and just, you know, start munching on them. And it is at this mo moment that they are, in fact, caught red-handed. So, let me just, before I forget, because time passes, uh, which is another move. Let me just find time passes once again so we can read it out. Whenever you lose track of time, mark one tick on the current day in the calendar. So, let me go and do that. So, we are on the first day of, of spring. I'm going to just put one X to indicate that we have marked one progress. Um, if this tick does not fill the box... Ambition how time got away from your character. If you spend quality time with a townie, gain one favor with them. Then continue playing. Uh, we are not spending good time with any townie, uh, but we're in fact going to be making a townie right now. So, uh, right away, we know that the, the person that we are uh, making, we know they're a farmer. We don't have to roll a job. We know they're a farmer. They're the person who runs this farm. So, their job is a uh, farmer. Um, now, let's roll their ancestry. Uh, let's see, what is the ancestry of the person who's farming over here? Uh, give me a D100 roll, please. 62. They are a light elemental. They are a person made of light. I'm actually picturing like Sunflora slash um, like a, like a sunflower style person. Like a person who like looks like a sunflower. That's what I'm picturing. Um... So I'm 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 just gonna write like sunflower uh, elemental, and we'll learn more about them in a second. Now I no do I do we need to roll to see how old they are? I'm not super sure. I'm gonna give it a roll just to see just to see what we get. Maybe they're old. Maybe they're young. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. They're young adult. Perfect. They're about our age. Okay. Now, their pronouns, hit me with their pronouns. Uh, what what do they go by, you know? What are their pronouns? 24. They are she, her. Perfect. And what is, you know what? I'm just going to assume that their presentation is femme. I'm just going to go with femme for now. Uh, and now, give me a, give me a name. What's your name? I swear to God, if your name is like some sort of like son related term i'm gonna freaking like dot, lose my mind right now Nine sixty-nine again <laughs> again <laughs> oh my god oh my god you have got to be kidding me that's incredible new best friend or forever rival oh yeah for sure all right 69 their name is onion Peridot or Retro. I think Peridot might be uh, the best name. I don't know about Onion. Uh, Onion gives me kind of a bad vibe. Chat, can I please get, can I get some input, please? Onion, Peridot, or Retro? Peridot? Peridot feels good, doesn't it? I see two boats for Peridot, and that tells that tells me I'm I'm on the right I'm on the right path. Peridot for for sure. And now let me just roll their birthday real quick. I, I, I gotta make one of those, like, rollers that just, like, do all the rolls for you in one go. 71. 71 means that they are also quite a late baby. Fall 21. All right. And now, let's do a couple of quick... Oh, I, we need some traits, actually. Uh, Where is the traits table? Townie town traits. Okay. So... Uh, let's roll a couple times just to get a couple ideas for what kind of person this uh, this townie is. Yeah, maybe they're not mad at us. 51. Maybe they're furious at us. Independent. Okay, okay. Uh, I need... I, oh, perfect. Okay. Independent. Independent. Uh, plus, give me one more trait to get in a feeling for who they are as a person. 46. 46. Hilarious! They are hilarious! <laughs> okay, so we're not in trouble. Thankfully, we are not in trouble, which is good, which is good. Okay, so. So let's envision how time passes then, okay? So, uh, 
we are we are stuffing your face full of dandelions and and you know yeah i i, I absolutely the, the db is coming in with absolutely taking the words off my off of my mouth um the words off my lips literally like i i envision you know we probably like we eat like one dandelion and then we're like we look over our shoulder no one's there we and then we have like like five like a handful of dandelions in each hand and we're like half eating the dandelions when be, when we 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 like w the camera shows a shadow like like drawn over like over us casting a shadow like um the li the light is casting a shadow so that you can see the shadow on the dandelions that we're eating and then they literally just do the, the whole like boo thing you know like they just like jump up you know with their hands outstretched and and we just jump we just absolutely completely jump and lose our mind you know we scream we drop the ha the half chew the half eaten dandelions to the floor and uh because we're a slime person i completely envision that we're we're sweating like there's like huge beads of like slime just like rolling down our face uh and you know I don't think I don't think we immediately are apologizing. I feel like we're legitimately like, oh no, this is it. I've been in the wilderness. I've survived for like so many days in the wilderness. I'm about to die. I'm about to literally get destroyed by a <laughs> big slime sweat. Yeah, just like just one big bead of slime rolling down there, like their 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 side of their face. That is literally what's happening right now. And you know, once we finally make eyes with uh with uh with Peridot. <laughs> this is how it ends <laughs> absolutely absolutely uh and that is when we finally lay eyes for the first time on aurelia sorry on our uh on peridot let me really quickly just roll their aesthetic since we have it why not let's just roll their aesthetic you know how do they how do they dress Forty one. Oh, 41 would be um divided by two it would be 19 low lo-fi aesthetic okay so they're definitely that you know they're not like super like lo-fi aesthetic let me literally i'm gonna literally look up what that looks like because right now i'm just thinking of like characters from like jet set radio it's just literally like 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 okay like really like a comfy sweater okay honestly literally by the way um i'm gonna show you this real quick uh, they're literally wearing this outfit, right? They're wearing, they're like, like she's wearing like de like denim high waist denim jeans, and then like a shirt that's tucked in, a white shirt that's tucked in. That's literally what I'm picturing. Uh, <laughs> not quite Jet Set Radio, unfortunately, but I'm 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 actually I'm picturing like like you know like street clothes, you know, um, but they're still definitely a, a farmer of sorts, so they definitely have like farming boots, but it's it's like denim jeans, high waisted. Um, and like a uh, a white shirt with some sort of like design on it that's tucked in. Uh, we rolled species. The species is um a slight elemental, so but I wrote it as a sunflower elemental. So the the way that I'm picturing it is that like, uh, much like we have um, uh, you know like we're like a slime person, right? Uh, even though we're a a water elemental, I feel like a <laughs> I come back to see Jetson Radio Neuron activated. <laughs> no worries, no worries. Um. I, I am I'm legitimately picturing that like you know um a peridot um you know uh, their their skin is like um plant like uh except for like their uh no yeah their their skin is like plant like and uh protruding from their neck is like um a co a, a color of like uh, um petals much like a sunflower <laughs> you know and I I because they're still a light elemental I envision that like uh, maybe their 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 head is kind of like um luminescent. You know what I'm saying? Um, I I'm I'm not saying like a literal like like a smiling sun, but like you know th there is li like they're casting light around them. You know, and the, the, you know they're nonetheless a relatively um uh they're you know I'm gonna say they're about our age. I'm gonna say they're they're quite you know uh you know that I I, I want to make a, a pun about them being made of light. By the way. <laughs> But yeah, I'm pic I'm picturing that like you know their body is like plant based, but like their head is like the the fruit that is growing out of the plant. You know, M maybe it's not it's not fully connected to their body, kind of like hovering like um like a little like an orb, you know. And you know inside in this orb you can see 
like not 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 quite like a gem. Not quite like a gem. Also, hi Bohemian. Greetings. I didn't see you come in. Um, uh, you know, and they scared us. You know, and I and I envision I I can't draw them because like I. I feel like if I drew them, you would see what I'm picturing, but we don't have time for me to draw another character on stream. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, you know, I, I guess, you know, I, I could maybe, like, drop the being made of... No, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. We'll, we'll, uh, I'll draw them later, and then you'll see what I meant. But, you know, their, their body, you know, is still humanoid, but, you know, instead of being made of skin, it's, you know, or skin and flesh and bone, it's kind of, like, plant-based, you know what I'm saying? Um... And instead of like veins being visible, it's that instead you know like the um, the stem parts of like a leaf that are that is visible instead of their skin, uh, and you know um, again they have this like color of petals that is like protruding from their neck, um, you know uh, framing it like a color would, um, framing their face like a color would, and you know their 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 head is actually like not like a quite a ball of fire, but they're you know a, um, a luminescent face, and they're smiling at us. They are quite literally a ray of sunshine. And they're just, they're laughing and laughing, even though, you know, um, they just scare the hell out of us. And I'm going to, I'm going to say, because we, we, we are about to lose track of time. I guess kind of like rude, I guess, kind of like rude, except, you know, the head is definitely glowy. <laughs> so, uh, the way that I envision, because we're about to lose time, right? You know, time is about to pass because we, we, we failed the role. And I envision that we definitely spend... Cause, cause in Iron Valley, everybody is like down to like chill with you and talk for hours, right? Now, I don't think we're gonna talk with Peridot for hours, but I definitely feel like we apologize. Um, we offered to pay for the dandelions, and I, I, I can tell you right now. We know that Peridot is independent, and they're hilarious. So I envision that they don't care. They're like, you know, don't worry about it. I can grow. I can grow some more in a couple of days. It's not a big deal. I just thought it was cute. You were just chomping on all these dandelions when there's, you know, tons of other crops literally over there, you know. And, you know, finally we get our bearings, and we're, you know, we're standing on the farther end of Peridot's plot. Um, I don't think that all the fields that we saw were Peridot's. Um, you know, a a everybody in Iron Valley has a little bit of a garden going on, but Peridot is a farmer by choice. And, you know, um, over to one side, we can envision like, a, you know, like a relatively large barn with lots of, you know, little strange creatures just, be, you know, hanging out in there. Um, I had quite a few like sheds and buildings probably full of tools and like workshops that Peridot needs in order to be a, a farmer and craft lots of things. And of course, you know, tons and tons of crops growing in the field. You know, uh, I'm going to say what other um, spring crops do we have? You know, I'm envisioning for sure. Uh, there's definitely quite a few, you know, apricot and cherry trees, you know, the cherry trees with their reddish um, uh, branches and because it's spring, of course, and they're in bloom, uh, I'm, I'm picturing that they have the beautiful um, uh, sakura petals, you know, their cherry petals, um, just like very, very like light pink, you know, and, and a few of them, you know, with the, the um, with the swaying of the breeze, you know, a few petals get freed from the branches, you know. Uh, sending about a little flutter of pink, of pink uh, uh, petals, and of course, you know, uh, just much like there's a patch of like flowers, there's patches of like various um, uh, herbs, you know, mint, rosemary, uh, maybe, maybe some like van uh, maybe some like black tea, uh, and of course, you know, lots of patches of you know root rooters root rooters uh, <laughs> tubers. That's what I was thinking of, you know. Uh, like some daikon, some potatoes, some parsnips, you know, just a big, large field of goodies in there. And, you know, no sooner we're apologizing, I envision Peridot as the kind of person, they're independent, right? It means that they're, they're getting enough business. I, I like to, I want to choose to believe that they're independent because they're literally, they get by on their own. They don't have to worry about anything else. You know, they, they grow their business and they're self, you know, they're um, self-sufficient. Uh, and I imagine that Peridot being independent, they're very proud of their work. So I, I immediately believe that as soon as the scare passes and we're apologizing for the dandelions, Peridot's like, don't worry about it. Actually, let me show you around. Let me show you, you know, because yeah, you think it's a big deal. It's not a big deal. Let me show you all the things I've got going on. So next thing we know, we're spending literally like a couple hours. We're spending a couple hours literally just um, uh, chat, like, uh, 
listening and hearing about all like the different elements of the farm, all the things that are going on in the farm. You know, next thing you know, we're in the barn learning the names of all, of all their like space chickens uh, <laughs> and space cows. You know, it's like, oh yeah, this one over here actually, you know, I just got I just got her in a little bit ago. You know, she's still just a baby, but you know. You know, she's definitely, you know, a little bit spoiled, but it's fine, you know. Yeah, sure, I have time to, you know, have all these cows and all these space chickens, you know. And next thing you know, they're like, yeah, let me show you my little workshop. You know, it's like, I'm actually, you know, I'm doing a little bit of carpentry now, 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 and, and again. You know, and, it, it, you know, yes, we failed, and we're not really having a quality conversation. This feels very one-sided. I envision uh, Aurelis as being the kind of person who just kind of, like, nods along, you know, especially after getting caught red-handed. Uh, so we kind of just nod along and learn a lot about Peridot and what Peridot is up to and just this enormous farm. And I don't think we get brought in for tea, mostly because I envision Peridot as the kind of person who works until the work is over. So next thing you know, you know, we're, we probably end up doing something along the lines of like, you know, helping dig up, uh, like, like dig up a ditch or, or maybe like water some plants. And... Peridot probably loses complete track of time, and it isn't until, like, you know, we're doing some sort of menial task, like, you know, Peridot is fixing, you know, a, a barn, a, a, like, fixing a hole in the, in the side of the barn, you know, and we're holding, like, the nails and the plank, uh, planks, and it's then that Peridot is like, wait a minute, you're not supposed to be here, <laughs> wait a minute, and like, like s s uh, you know, like, Sweetie, you're not supposed to be here. They call us sweetie, even though we're clearly the same age, by the way. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. I lost track of time. Now, he, I have a question to uh, I have a question to ask the Oracle. Because whenever you're not sure, you can ask the spirit of the forest. And it can, it can answer you a yes or no question. And I want to ask a yes or no question, okay? Is Peridot the type of person who would... Um who would basically pay us for all the work that we did around the farm. Even though they didn't ask us, even though we're not asking for payment, would they offer payment, you know? Would they be like, by the way, here's, you know, a little something you can take with you. Um, I'm gonna roll, you know, is Peridot gonna give us something for all the time we spent? Even though it wasn't really like, you know. <laughs> DV says, sweet is a great Southern term for everybody. I love that, honestly. Oh, hell yeah, I love that. That's cute. So, 39. The answer is no. The answer is no. And you know what? I feel like that's okay. I feel like that's okay. You know, so the question is now, how do we interpret this, right? You know, even though Peridot uh, definitely just, you know, took a lot of our time. Truth be told, we took a lot of stuff from them too. So, um, when Peridot finally comes... Uh, <laughs> I love that DB. Totally not because I forget names randomly. Oh, I get that for sure. <laughs> you know, and I'm envisioning that once Peridot comes to their senses and realizes that we have been following them around, helping them do things around the farm for the better part of like two, two maybe three hours, after of course being shown around, uh, Peridot is like, you know what? I can't be having you helping around without actually, you know, giving you a little something. But I'm a little bit busy today. How about this? How about, you know, I treat you some to something. You know, let me actually get into Peridot's voice. Because I'm picturing kind of me being a little bit kind of like this. There you go. That's more of Peridot's voice. You know, sweetie, it's just I, I, you know, once I get working on the farm, I'm a farmer through and through. I just lose track of time. How about this, okay? You know what? You know, I, I still got lots of work to do, so I can't really pay you back right now. But how about, you know, I owe you one. How about a arrange it, huh? You know, like, w w where are you staying? You're new, right? Where are you staying here in town? You know, maybe, maybe I'll go see you at your place and we can go get something to eat. How about that, huh? And it is at this question, the implication of where are we staying, that I feel like, um, Aurelis kind of freezes up, right? And it's like, oh no, I'm being asked where I live. I don't really live here. I don't really have plans of living here. Uh, because maybe I have internalized the trauma that if I if I settle down somewhere, maybe I, I will lose everything again, and I don't want that to happen. That's why I'm camping around, uh, completely taking in the the idea of um, of uh, th everything being transient in life. <laughs> so I'm wondering, how do we address this? Do we lie? We're definitely like a, a person of mischief, by the way. Oh, <laughs> uh, Relis shoving dandelions in their pockets. 
You gotta go. <laughs> so, I think... I definitely think that... I definitely think that considering the context of our character's story, I don't think... I don't think that we would openly accept that we are basically homeless. I feel like from our point of view, we're, we're, we're thinking of this as like, you know, we're just... I'm just in between things, okay? I'm not I'm not literally running away from the fear of losing everything. Uh <laughs> I like that. Points in a random direction, says DB, and runs away. I don't think we're gonna I don't think we're gonna openly admit it. Uh so my question is, do we lie or do we just disengage? And we have one shadow. We have some mischief, but that's all entirely around pranks and stuff. So here's the way that I'm gonna think about it, okay? You know what? I'm completely okay. I feel like we lie. I feel like in a way... I feel like in a way, Aureli is still a little bit embarrassed of what happened. So we're gonna- we're gonna lie. We're gonna do plus shadow, which is all about lying. Even lie or disengage. Um, I- I- I think- it took me a second to work it out, but I think I've decided for- for lying. I feel like they might try to lie because of nerves. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And- and again, like, you know... I, you know, not to say that I'm making a story about trauma over here. Oh, hey, Kara. Uh, wait, hey, Melty. That's right. I remember your name. Hey, Melty. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Uh, we're doing lovely today. We're playtesting play my game. We created a new character, a new setting, and uh, I even got to draw them. And someone already drew fan art of them. Can you believe that? <laughs> Once again, thank you to May for uh, for drawing Aurelis, by the way. Oh, my God. I I, I I have I have the the best the best chatters honestly, uh, but yeah. Uh, so, I think that Aureli uh, has not yet internalized the fact that they have lost their home and they're being kind of like fleeing from that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of trauma. So we're gonna lie. We're gonna we're gonna just absolutely lie. We're we are not really working on a promise, so we don't have to worry about that. So we're going to be rolling plus one. So let me just do the roll plus one on the roll. 5 becomes 6, the 6 beats the 4, and the 5. Strong hit, let's go! Look at that, strong hit! <laughs> Just when we don't have any kind of, like, progress tracks to work towards, huh? Is there any quest that we can make progress on today? Not really... I guess you could say... You could say that we're, we're trying to get out of this conversation so we can go find a place to camp. Oh, hell yeah. No worries. Of course I remembered. Of course I remembered your name, Melty. <laughs> I, I remember people, you know? Nerves win this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what? Honestly, I'm going to... Because when you get a strong hit, by the way, when you get a strong hit, uh, you're successful. If this brings you, brings you closer towards fulfilling a promise, mark two ticks on it. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna mark two ticks on on finding a place to camp. We're li we we literally just start fleeing. We just start fleeing. So um, as soon as Aurelis is like, yeah. So where are you staying? Maybe I can go see you at your place, and we can go. You know, go go grab a bite or something. You know. Ooh, ooh, that's interesting, DB. I kind I kind of like that. Um. Uh, so. Okay, I, I, I kind of want to take what, what DB is saying. I want to figure out a way to bring it in. So the way that I'm picturing it is that, you know, um, Aureli starts to, like, walk, you know, like, take a couple steps back, you know. They may or may not have then lions in their pockets. <laughs> um, and, you know, uh, and immediately... Um, oh, you know what? You're so right, DB. You're so right, DB. You're absolutely so right. Um, uh, okay, so, so he, 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 here's the lie, okay? Here's the lie. The lies that we say that we're just passing through, but in reality we're actually thinking of settling in here in here for a while. the The purpose of the lies do not have to um, have um, um, Peridot um, commit to the promise. You know, like we don't want to have that hanging over our heads. We're just like, you know what? No, I'm just passing through. Uh, you could also say that we're lying to ourselves uh, quite effectively. I would I would argue. So Peridot is like, you know, we can go get a bite somewhere. You know, like where you where you stay, and immediately, you know, we back up and we uh, and we say, yeah, actually, um, actually, I'm 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 not really 
staying anywhere. I'm just I'm just passing through. And then and then that's when um we we kind of like gesture, you know, we, we point a little we point a, a sleeve because you can't see our hands. We point a sleeve to our backpack and our sleeping bag. Um and um and at this point, I believe that is when um when Peridot is like, "Oh, oh, you're just passing through. Oh, so you, you so you're probably, you know, you know what? Uh, oh, so you're probably in the in the Western Bank then. You know, that's where most people camp nowadays." Well, you know, you know, uh, you know, um, you know, if, if you're staying for a day or two, you know, definitely swing by and maybe it can go treat you to some food. I, I think Peridot buy, buys, you know, the the ultimate lie here is that we are not that we lie about staying here when we're definitely thinking of staying for a little bit. Um, you know, Peridot still makes the offer to us, um, and. Uh, we learn that the that the Western Bank, you know, on the western side of Iron Valley, is a good place to camp, and then we that's how we get the the, um, the information. Unfortunately, apparently, other people are camping here, so we might have company. Unfortunately, but you know what? That's good information. That's where we got two progress on our one uh, box quest. So let me immediately mark a couple notes about Peridot. Uh, uh, Peridot runs um, uh, a good no a uh, self reliant reliant farm uh, on the western outskirts of Iron Valley ah oh, we forgot to roll, roll a name for Iron Valley also I know we only have six minutes left <laughs> I, I, I will okay we're gonna roll the name of, of Iron Valley because we have a new name a new town name by the way Oracle and then we're actually going to um uh, to call it for the night for the day I know, sorry, I only stream until 2. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. I'm always really slow to starting the campaigns. Especially because this time I wanted to have a little character doodle. But, you know, we're going to get back to it on uh, on on Wednesday. And and, and and I really I really want to show at least the way that I like to play the game, you know? And again, my favorite thing about solo role-playing games is just seeing the dice rolls make the story interesting. And again, I really, really do appreciate... um. Oh no! Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, I, I will be sharing the new oracles. They're not super polished yet, but I, I will be sharing for anybody who wants to use them, uh, I, I, as well as the new oracles that I got from 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 submissions. Uh, but but what what I was gonna say is that um, uh, I forgot what I was what I was, what I was gonna say. <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, um, my oh, oh, oh I remember now. Um, thank you so much to everyone who was giving ideas in chat. It really really helps a lot to have other people bounce ideas off of. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna roll twice to see what our what our Iron Valley is called, and then we're gonna get out of here. Seventy nine. Uh. Oh crap! I just real. Oh, wait, wait, no. Seventy nine. Nope. Wait a minute. Is it only fifty? Wait a minute. Okay, se seventy six. Thank you. Unfortunately, seventy six divided by. Two. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> this table is not ready because it's only fifty options. Seventy-six. Yeah, seventy-six divided by two would be um thirty-five, thirty-eight. Number thirty-eight. Thank you. Uh, it is. It is. Oh. Okay. Pine or summit. Okay. Summit or pine. I was not ready to do this, so I, this, this is looking a, a little bit bad, but don't worry about it. Okay, I'm going to roll again, and then we, we can, like, mix and match. That's the way that I want to do it. So, uh, our town is either Pine or s Pines, Pine Blank or Blank Summit. 71. 71 divided by 2 would be 36? Okay, Stonehaven. Okay, Stone. Haven. So we're either Stone Summit, Pine Summit. That's a 35. It's 35? Okay, no, it is 35. Okay, it is 35. Thank you. Sorry. I, I did get the right one at the right one at the end of the day. <laughs> I, I I can't I can't do math math. Summit is nice, huh? Stone Summit? Or Pine Summit? <laughs> Lovely. You you round down. Stone Summit. Pine Haven. Is stone. Kitty says st stone. Stone Summit. 
Stone Summit it is. Let me actually... Uh... Stone Summit. Stone Summit is cute. That actually, yeah, that, that actually explains why um, we had to like climb up a bunch of hills to actually be able to see the towns. Because it's kind of like an, an elevated area. It, it, it is true. It is also more more fitting with the idea of Iron Valley in general. So uh, so let me just write down wh what we learned about uh, Parada before we go. Parada runs a self-reliant farm on the, on the western outskirts of Stone Summit. Oh, just subtract 50. That makes sense. <laughs> that's actually a really good idea. Thank you, Caleb. God, that's so smart, actually. Uh, Peridot runs. Um, Peridot caught us um, stealing her dandelions. Um, she scared us as a prank, then showed us around her farm. Until we lost... Until... She realized we had lost track of time. Then she offered to buy us. Uh, she offered to treat us to a meal. At which point we lied and claimed to only be passing by. Upon hearing this, Peridot. Oh, it's already two o'clock. Damn, I gotta go. <laughs> oh, thank oh, hi, Mr. Meme. Thank you for coming in to, to say hi. Welcome. Okay, I gotta get out of here, but let me just finish this, okay? Uh, par upon hearing this, Peridot um, uh, pointed out most campers are staying at the Western Bank, bank which um, pointed us, which became our destination. Okay. Um, by the way, if you are watching the stream, I want to let you know really quickly that the number one place to support me is Aurelius. Get out of there. There you go. Uh, Coffee.com slash MQ is the number, the number one place to support me. You can go there and donate and uh, we can work towards new goals. By the way, uh, I also want to show you that the music you heard during the stream is in fact from Lo Fi Leah, the most incredible, the greatest, the bestiest. <laughs> Uh, I, I, yeah, I love Kitty and Ronnie just racing to type it out. Oh, by the way, um, by the way, uh, speaking of Moontums, by the way, uh, Moontums, by the way, also streams on Twitch, and you should go watch them. Uh, we sometimes have, like, conflicts of, 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 like, time where, like, we're streaming at the same time, and I'm really sorry about that. Uh, but Moontums is still great. Uh, I'm literally watching a lot of one of their streams literally right now. I'm literally, I'm watching them right now. In the very small one. There we go. They're so cute. They have such a cute, bo cute boys. I love them. Anyways, um, uh, Lo-Fi Liam, uh, VideoTube is the app that I use to, um, to, you know, do, do, uh, be a VTuber. And my official website is mkarenauthor.com. Did you know that I write books for a living? I'm actually a fiction author. You can read my latest book, The Last Bread Mage. Although, actually, um, if you want to buy it, I'm going to give you a little tip, okay? I'm going to give you a little tip, okay? Um, wait until tomorrow... Because I'm going to be releasing a little coupon code for my birthday week. You're going to be able to buy all my books half off. Literally, literally happening this week. So uh, keep an eye on my Twitter for that. Uh, and by the way, before you head out, don't forget to uh, leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified. These things let YouTube know that I exist, that I matter, and that I should show up on everybody's recommendation, recommendation uh, tabs. So uh, please do that. I would really, It would really, really mean the world to me. And I'm going to put Aurelia away for for the moment. Let me just longingly look into this incredible drawing by Sodernia. Thank you so much. You're all so awesome and so sweet. I had a lot of fun today. And before I head out, okay? I do want to give you one more. Hey there. Mondays are tough. And I find myself that after the uh, often that after the weekend, I find myself uh, dealing with a lot of intrusive thoughts, you know, and it's really easy to get lost with these thoughts and think to yourself, I'm going to be feeling this way forever. And the truth is, you won't. These feelings will pass. Even if the small ones, the big ones, they will all pass by. And you will look back on these days and you will realize that you have grown stronger. You got over them. You made it to the other side. That's all we can do in life sometimes, you know? 
the best thing we can do is just to keep marching on keep chasing the horizon so we can make it from now from these moments when we're struggling to the good days thank you for joining me today i hope you have had a fun time i'm gonna go have a fun time and, pr re and productive rest of my day good night to all of you kisses and take care Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing New Leaf on my Nintendo 3DS. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little o I'm a little over. So uh, here's what's gonna happen now, okay? I'm gonna shoot you all all out of the cannon and uh, have a lovely day. <laughs> bye, bye. Okay, that's all the time I've got. I gotta get back to playing Animal Crossing: New Leaf 